Phrasal verbs for daily routines. Number one, wake up. I had the strangest dream last night. Tell me about it. Well, I was flying over a city and then suddenly I woke up. Sounds like you woke up at the best part. I suddenly woke up during the dream to stop sleeping. I wake up to the sound of birds every morning. She always wakes up with a smile on her face. The loud noise made everyone wake up. Number two, get up. I just can't function during early morning meetings. Why not? I'm not an early riser. It's hard for me to get up so early. Maybe you should try sleeping earlier? It's hard for me to get up so early. To rise from bed after sleeping. I usually get up at 7 a.m. on weekdays. She struggles to get up on cold winter mornings. Kids often get up with so much energy. Number three, sleep in. You look refreshed this morning. It's the weekend. I allowed myself to sleep in. That's the best feeling, isn't it? Absolutely. I needed that extra rest. I allowed myself to sleep in. To sleep longer than usual. On Sundays, he loves to sleep in. She slept in and missed the morning meeting. After a tiring week, many people sleep in. Number four, put on. Do you think it's cold outside? Yes, it's freezing. Okay, I'll put on my jacket then. Good idea. Better to stay warm. I'll put on my jacket. To wear or place something on your body. Before leaving, she put on her shoes. He puts on sunscreen every day. I put on my favorite dress for the party. Number five, take off. It's getting really warm in here, isn't it? Definitely. I can't stand it. Me neither. I didn't expect it to get so hot. I'm going to take off my sweater. That should help. I think I'll take off my sweater. To remove something, especially clothing. After getting home, he took off his shoes. She takes off her makeup before bed. 
It's considered good manners to take off your hat at the dinner table. Number six, meet up with. I haven't seen you in ages. What's new? Long time no see. What's going on? I'm planning to meet up with some friends for dinner. Want to join? I'd love to. It's been so long. I'm planning to meet up with some friends. To arrange to meet someone, especially socially. We should meet up for coffee sometime. They meet up at the park every Saturday. I can't wait to meet up with my old school friends. Number seven, eat out. I don't feel like cooking tonight. Me neither. What should we do? We could eat out. Great idea. Let's try that new Italian place. Want to eat out tonight at that new Italian place? To have a meal in a restaurant. They eat out every Friday night. Eating out can be expensive. I love to eat out at local restaurants. Number eight, stay up. Are you tired? It's already past midnight. I know, but I want to stay up a bit longer. This book is too good. Okay, just remember to turn off the light before you go to bed. Thanks. Just a few more pages. I want to stay up a bit longer. To not go to bed. He stayed up watching movies. Kids often want to stay up late during holidays. I stayed up waiting for your call. Phrasal verbs for eating and drinking. Number one, dig in. This food looks delicious. Doesn't it? It does, and it looks nice and hot. I'm so ready to eat. So, let's dig in. I've been waiting for this moment. I'm ready to dig in. To start to eat enthusiastically. Everyone, Dig in before the food gets cold. She was so hungry, she immediately dug into her food. The aroma of the freshly baked pie tempted us to dig in. Number two, wash down. That was a really spicy meal. I agree. My mouth is on fire, but it was so satisfying. A nice cold lemonade would help to wash it down. Exactly what I was thinking. Lemonade would help to wash down the meal.
to drink something to help swallow food. He washed down his meal with a cold beer. She had a glass of milk to wash down her cookies. I always enjoy a cup of hot tea to wash down a heavy meal. Number three, Wolf Down. Wow, you finished that sandwich in no time. I was starving. I haven't eaten all day. I can tell. You really wolfed it down. And I'm still not full. You really wolfed down that sandwich. To eat something very quickly because you're very hungry. He wolfed down his dinner and asked for seconds. He was in a rush, so he wolfed down his sandwich in just a few bites. The hungry teenager came home and wolfed down an entire pizza by himself. Number 4. Feast On The holiday dinner looks absolutely incredible this year. It sure does. All these traditional dishes. Thanksgiving is my favorite. Grandma sure can cook. She loves this time of the year. The holidays are the best. We get to feast on turkey and mashed potatoes. The family gets to feast on turkey and mashed potatoes. To eat a large amount of something, often with joy. He feasted on the diverse amount of food at the buffet. The family gathered around the table to feast on a delicious holiday dinner. The team went to a seafood restaurant to feast on fresh lobster and crab. Number 5. Nibble On Do you want a piece of chocolate? I love chocolate, but I'm watching my weight. Maybe just a bit. Just nibble on it. It'll last longer. I don't know if I can. I want the whole thing right now. If you nibble on this, it'll last longer. To eat something in very small bites over time. She nibbled on a biscuit while reading her book. I love to nibble on almonds as a healthy snack. Instead of a full meal, she preferred to nibble on small snacks throughout the day. Number 6. Snack On Ready for the movie? Yeah, but I could really use something to eat. I need something to do while I watch. How about candy or some nuts? I'm more traditional. I prefer to snack on some popcorn. I prefer to snack on some popcorn. To eat small amounts of food between meals or for fun. She likes to snack on fruits and nuts in the afternoon. She kept a jar of trail mix on her desk to snack on during the day. He liked to snack on popcorn while watching movies in the evening. Number 7. 
finish off. There's just one slice of cake left. Well, we can't leave it like that. You can't save it for tomorrow? It's not worth it. It's just too good. Let's finish it off with a shot of espresso. Let's finish it off with a shot of espresso. To eat all of the remaining food and finish a meal. After dinner, they finished off the meal with a slice of homemade pie. They had a bottle of wine that was nearly empty, so they decided to finish it off. There were only a few bites of lasagna left, and he happily finished them off. Number 8. Sip on. What are you doing? I'm drinking my wine. What's wrong? You're not supposed to drink the whole glass. You're supposed to sip on it. Don't tell me how to drink wine. You're supposed to sip on wine. To drink something very slowly. She sipped on her tea while enjoying the view. I love to sip on a cold drink on a hot day. In the cafe, she sat and sipped on her latte while reading a book. Phrasal verbs for cooking. Number one, whip up. Some friends just told me they're coming over right now. What's the plan for food? I'm thinking of whipping up a quick pasta dish. Good idea. That's a quick and delicious meal. I can whip up a meal quickly for unexpected guests. To quickly make a meal. She can whip up a delicious cake with just a few ingredients. He whipped up a healthy salad for lunch. Whenever there's little time, I whip up some pasta. Number two, simmer down. The sauce is exploding on the stove. Just lower the heat. Good idea. We can't let it burn. Once it simmers down, it will be perfect. Let the sauce simmer down for a while. To lower the level of heat. The soup should simmer down a bit before you try it. After 15 minutes, simmer down the flame and let it sit for 30 minutes. The chef let the gravy simmer down before serving. Number 3. Measure out. Are you following a recipe? Yeah, I always forget exactly how many ingredients I need. I understand. You want to get it perfect. I have to measure out all of the ingredients accurately for maximum results. Measure out the ingredients accurately for the cake. 
to determine the exact amount of something. He measured out a cup of flour for the bread. Carefully measure out the spices to balance the flavors. She measured out two tablespoons of oil for the dressing. Number four, cut back on. I'm trying to eat healthier these days. I can see. You made a salad for dinner. It's unusual for you. I'm cutting back on calories. You should cut back on all that dressing, too. I'm cutting back on unhealthy ingredients to reduce the amount of something. Cut back on salt to improve your diet. He was advised to cut back on caffeine. We cut back on red meat in our meals. Number five, chop up. Can I help you with the salad? Sure. You can handle the vegetables. Should I wash them? No, I already did that. Just chop them up into small bits. Let's chop up the vegetables for the salad. To cut something into pieces. She chopped up carrots for the soup. Chop up some herbs to garnish the dish. I chopped up an apple for the fruit salad. Number six, stir in. This soup is bland. It needs more flavor. Did you add any herbs or spices? Not too many, just a few. Try stirring in a few more. That should do the trick. Stir in some spices to add flavor to mix and combine ingredients in a mixture. He got his coffee and stirred in some sugar. Stir in the flour slowly to avoid lumps. She stirred vanilla extract into the cake batter. Number seven, pour out. I think I ruined the sauce. Let me taste it. Oh, that's terrible. Sorry. Can we save it? Honestly, I don't think so. Pour it out into the sink and let's start over. Pour out the sauce. Let's try to make it again to discard a liquid from a container. The milk expired, so she poured it out. He poured out all of the soup that he couldn't finish. That water smells funny. Pour it out and let's get purified water. Number eight, fry up. What's for breakfast? I don't know. What are you in the mood for? How about some eggs and bacon? All right. I'll fry some up right away.
Let's fry up some eggs for breakfast. To cook food in hot oil or fat. On Sundays, we like to fry up pancakes. She fried up some chicken for dinner. For a quick meal, he usually fries up some vegetables. Number 9. Wash off. These vegetables are fresh from the market. They look great, but wow, they're dirty. It's not a problem. We can wash the dirt off. Make sure to wash them thoroughly. Make sure to wash off the vegetables well. To clean something by washing. Wash the dirt off your shoes before entering. Always wash the dirt off of fruits before eating them. She washed the paint off of her hands. Number 10. Toss together. Wow, beautiful salad. Are you finished making it? Almost. All of the ingredients are in it. You can give it to me and I'll toss them together for you. Sounds great. I'll get some bowls and forks. Toss the ingredients together and let's eat. To mix ingredients. Toss together lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers for a fresh salad. She quickly tossed together a fruit salad for dessert. For the picnic, we tossed together a pasta salad. Phrasal verbs for time. Number one, chill out. You seem stressed out. Yeah, work has been really tough. Maybe you should chill out this weekend. Do something relaxing. That sounds like a great idea. Maybe you should chill out. To spend your time relaxing and not worrying. I love to chill out with a good book. She decided to chill out and watch a movie. They chilled out by the pool all afternoon. Number two, hang out. Hey, what are you doing this weekend? Not much. Why? Do you have something in mind? Do you want to hang out with me at the park? We could go ice skating. Sure, that sounds like fun. Do you want to hang out with me at the park? To spend casual time doing something enjoyable. We used to hang out at the coffee shop after school. She likes to hang out with her friends on weekends. They enjoy hanging out at the beach during summer. Number three, set aside. 
Did you know that I'm trying to learn a new language? That's great. How's it going? It's a bit difficult. I need to set aside more time for studying. Good luck. You can do it. I need to set aside more time for studying. To reserve or dedicate time for a specific purpose. He set aside an hour each day for meditation. She sets aside time every weekend to work on her painting. They set aside time each month for a family trip. Number four, get together. Wow, it's been a while since we've seen each other. Yeah, no kidding. I'd love to catch up one of these days. How about we get together next weekend? Sounds good. I'll mark it on my calendar. How about we get together next weekend? To arrange a meeting or gathering. We get together for a family meal every Sunday. She arranged to get together with her college friends. They decided to get together for a study session. Number five, run out of. Have you finished your project yet? Not yet. I haven't even started. That's not good. You need to learn some time management skills. You're right. I always run out of time and never get anything done. I always run out of time. To use all of your time. He ran out of time and couldn't submit the paper. She realized she had run out of time to study for the exam. They ran out of time in the meeting and continued the week after. Number six, take up. I heard you started painting. Yeah, it's a great way to occupy my time and express myself. It's a great idea. Why did you decide to take up painting? It must be my passion for art. It runs in the family. I decided to take up painting. To dedicate time to a new hobby. He decided to take up gardening during the lockdown. She took up yoga to improve her flexibility. They took up hiking as a way to explore nature. Number seven, take off. You look really tired. Are you okay? Sure, I've just been working too hard recently. Maybe you should take off a few days and relax. I think you're right. Maybe you should take off a few days to take a break from work. 
he decided to take off a week to go on a road trip. She took off a couple of days to spend time with her family. They're planning to take off some time during the holidays. Number eight, put in. I see you're working late again. Yeah, I have a lot to do. You certainly put in the hours. Well, it's necessary if I want to meet the deadline. You certainly put in the hours to dedicate time and effort to something. He puts in a lot of time preparing for his presentations. She put in extra hours to finish the project on time. They put in a lot of effort to ensure the event's success. Phrasal verbs for time, part two. Number one, think back. Do you remember our trip to the beach last summer? Let me remember that trip with the spectacular sunsets. Yes, exactly. And the sand was so warm. You're right. Now that I think back, it was incredible. I wish we could go back. Now that I think back, it was incredible to remember a past event or situation. When I think back to my childhood, I remember playing in the park. She thinks back to her time in college with fond memories. He thought back to the day when he first met her. Number two, hurry up. I can't find my shoes anywhere. Did you check the living room? I did. They're not there. We're going to miss the beginning of the movie. Hurry up. We're going to miss the movie. Hurry up. To do something quickly or to rush. She told her son to hurry up or he'd miss the school bus. I need to hurry up and finish this project. The coach urged the players to hurry up. Number three, drag on. I can't believe how long that meeting was. Yeah, it was just supposed to be an hour. But of course, it lasted for three hours. Typical. It just dragged on and on. I almost zonked out. The meeting dragged on and on and on. To continue for too long in a way that is boring or annoying. The lecture dragged on for two hours. The negotiations dragged on for weeks. The evening dragged on with one tedious speech after another. Number four, hold up. 
I apologize for being late. What happened? There was traffic? Yeah, there was a huge accident on the freeway. That must have really held you up. The traffic must have held you up. To delay or obstruct. The project was held up due to lack of funds. The rain held up the construction work. An accident held up traffic. Number five, go by. It's crazy to think we graduated high school 10 years ago. It certainly doesn't feel like it's been that long. I agree. I still feel just as young. It's hard to believe. Time goes by so fast. Time goes by so fast. To pass. Years have gone by since we last met. Time goes by quickly when you're having fun. The car went by at a high speed. Number six, hang around. Are you enjoying college? It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. What do you do after class? I usually just hang around the library, have coffee, and study a bit. Maybe we can study together sometime. I usually just hang around the library to stay in a place for no specific reason. The teenagers hang around the mall after school. He spends his weekends hanging around downtown. They often hang around the park, chatting and playing games. Number seven, free up. Hey, do you want to get some coffee with me this Sunday? Sorry, I'm really busy these days. Well, whenever you can free up some time, let me know. I don't know if I can. I'm a YouTuber. I don't know if I can free up time. I'm a YouTuber. To make a space available. She's trying to free up some time for relaxation. I need to free up some space on my phone to download the new app. Could you free up some time next week? I need your help. Number eight, count down. This party is amazing. I'm so happy to be here with you. Give me a kiss. Right, 10 seconds until the new year. Let's count it down. Ten. Nine. Count down the time to the new year. To announce the passing time remaining before an event begins. The crowd began to count down the final seconds of the game. 
We're counting down the days until our vacation. The space agency counted down the seconds to the rocket launch. Phrasal verbs for school. Number one, take part in. Did you hear about the school's science fair? Yeah, it's next month, right? Yep, I'm thinking of bringing my volcano experiment. I might take part in it too, with my solar project. I might take part in the science project. To participate or join in an activity or event. Many athletes dream of taking part in the Olympics. I decided to take part in the local theater production. Many students take part in the annual sports day. Number two, sit through. How was the presentation on ancient history? So lengthy, it felt like it went on forever. I can't believe you managed to sit through all of it. Me neither, but I made it. I can't believe you sat through that. To stay until the end, especially something boring. The lecture on algebra was long, but I managed to sit through it. I can't believe I sat through that entire movie. It was so dull. It's tough to sit through double periods without a break. Number three, tune out. You seemed distracted during Mr. Smith's lecture. His voice is so monotonous, I kept tuning out. I get that. I sometimes lose focus in his class, too. Glad I'm not the only one. I always tune out during his class. To stop paying attention or listening to something. Half the class tunes out when the topic is too complex. I tend to tune out when he starts talking about his hobbies. When the lecture gets boring, Many students tuned out. Number four, mess around. Where's Jack? We need to start the project. He's probably somewhere messing around, as usual. We don't have time for that. I'll go find him. We need everyone on board. He's probably messing around somewhere. To waste time doing something unproductive. Stop messing around and get to work. The kids spent the afternoon messing around in the yard. The teacher doesn't tolerate students who mess around in class. Number five, fall behind. 
I missed a week of school because I was sick. That's rough. Do you need some of my notes? Yeah, please. I've really fallen behind. No worries. We'll get you back on track. I fell behind because I was sick. To fail to keep pace or to be delayed. If you miss too many math classes, it's easy to fall behind. She fell behind on her reading assignments during the holidays. She fell behind on her payments and needs to settle her debts. Number six, catch up. I heard you were absent last week. Yeah, I had the flu. I fell behind in class. Need my notes to catch up? That'd be a lifesaver. I need to catch up with your notes. To come from behind to equal pace. I need to catch up on my reading before the exam. I missed a few lessons and had to catch up over the weekend. After a school trip, she needed to catch up on her assignments. Number seven, keep up with. Did you understand today's physics lesson? Honestly, I'm struggling to keep up with the new concepts. Want to join our study group? It might help. Sounds great. I really want to make more progress. I'm struggling to keep up with everyone. To stay at the same level or maintain pace. It's hard to keep up with all the latest technology. With extra tutoring, he's keeping up with his classmates in math. She always keeps up with the news. Number eight, turn in. Have you finished your essay for English class? Just the conclusion left. I'll turn it in tomorrow. Nice. I just need to proofread mine one last time. Good luck. I'm sure you'll do great. I'll turn in my essay tomorrow. To submit something. I'll turn in my project report by the end of the day. Make sure to turn in your permission slips for the field trip. Don't forget to turn in your assignment by Friday. Phrasal verbs for study. Number one, look up. Do you know the difference between the words stranger and foreigner? I think a stranger is someone you don't know, and a foreigner is someone from another country. I'm not sure. I'll look it up on Google.
Let me know if I'm right. I'll look up the definition on Google. Search for information about something. When studying a new topic, it's important to look up unfamiliar vocabulary. He didn't understand the historical reference, so he looked it up. They looked up the restaurant's location before heading out. Number two, figure out. This math problem is so complicated. If you divide it into smaller parts, it'll be easier. That's a good idea. I think I can do it now. If you want to figure out a math problem, it's always better to make it simpler first. I can figure out the math problem. Understand or find a solution to a problem. She managed to figure out the complicated equation after several attempts. If you can't figure out the answer, try asking for help. Figuring out a solution requires patience and logical thinking. Number three, go over. I'm really nervous about the upcoming test. Have you prepared well for it? I've studied, but I think I need to go over my notes again. That's a good idea. The more you prepare, the better you'll do. I need to go over my notes before the test. Review or revise something. It's good practice to go over your work before submitting it. She decided to go over her presentation one last time before the meeting. Going over your mistakes helps you learn and improve. Number four, brush up. I used to be good at French, but I've forgotten most of it. I'm sure it would come back fast if you studied a bit. I'm not so sure. I'm a little rusty. Just brush up on the grammar and some vocabulary, and it shouldn't be a problem. You should brush up on your French. Improve existing skills or refresh one's knowledge. She decided to brush up on her coding skills before the job interview. He brushed up on his knowledge of world history before the quiz. Brushing up your skills can increase your confidence and performance. Number five, catch on. I just can't seem to understand this new math concept. That's all right. These things can take time. Do you think extra practice problems would help? Definitely. With a bit more practice, you'll catch on. You'll catch on with more practice. Understand something, especially after a while or some effort. 
it took him a while to catch on to the new software. She was confused at first, but she quickly caught on. If you don't catch on at first, don't be afraid to ask questions. Number six, drop out. Did you hear about Sam? No, what happened? He dropped out of the course. It was too challenging for him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe he'll try again later. He dropped out of the course. Quit or leave a competition, typically school or a course. He decided to drop out of the race due to an injury. She dropped out of college to start her own business. Some people drop out of school, but go on to become very successful. Number seven, hand in. I'm almost done with my essay. Great. Do you know what to do with it after you finish? I think I have to hand it in to you, right? That's right. Please leave it on my desk. Don't forget to hand in your essay. Submit work for review or consideration. She handed in her assignment before leaving class. He made sure to hand in his application early. Handing in your work on time shows responsibility and respect for deadlines. Number eight, put off. I have a big assignment due next week, but I just can't seem to get started. The sooner you start, the easier it will be. You're right. I'll start working on it today. I tend to procrastinate, but not this time. If you keep putting it off, you'll have a lot of pressure to finish. Don't put off your big assignment. Postpone or delay doing something. She decided not to put off studying for the test. He often puts off doing his homework until the last minute. Putting off important tasks can lead to unnecessary stress and poor performance. Phrasal verbs for work. Number one, run by. I have this idea for improving our team workflow. Sounds interesting. Have you discussed it with anyone else? Not yet. I wanted to run it by you first. Well, let's hear it and see if it's something we can implement. I wanted to run it by you first. To present an idea to someone for their opinion. Before we proceed, let's run the idea by the manager for his input. She wanted to run her proposal by the committee before the meeting. I need to run these changes by the team before finalizing the document. 
Number two, sign up. Did you hear about that free new course? No, I haven't. What's it about? It's about digital marketing. It might help you in your new job. That sounds interesting. I'll probably sign up for it. I'll sign up for the course. To register for an event, service, or online platform. I'm going to sign up for a photography class to improve my skills. You should sign up for our newsletter to stay updated on our latest products. They signed up to raise funds for the local hospital. Number three, set up. We need to organize a meeting with the new clients next week. Sure, I'll coordinate with their team. Great, let's try for Wednesday if possible. Okay, I'll set it up for Wednesday and confirm with you. I'll set up the meeting for Wednesday. To arrange or prepare something for use. We need to set up a new workspace for our incoming intern. The tech team will set up the new software system over the weekend. I'll set up a conference call so we can discuss the details. Number four, take on. The boss asked me to lead the new project. That's a big responsibility. Are you going to accept? Yeah, I think it's time for me to take on a bigger role. You can do it. You deserve it. I'm going to take on a bigger role. To accept a new job, task, or responsibility, especially involving a challenge. He decided to take on the role of team leader. Our department will take on additional responsibilities. She took on the challenging task of coordinating the event. Number five, hand in. When do we need to submit the quarterly sales report? The boss said she wants it by the end of this week. Wow, we better start organizing the data so we can hand it in on time. I'll get started right away. We need to hand in the report by the end of this week. To submit something. Please hand in your reports by the end of the day. The students were asked to hand in their assignments before the weekend. She handed in her resignation letter to the boss. Number six, follow up. Did the client respond to our proposal? Not yet. Did you follow up with them to see what they think? I didn't. I'll do it first thing in the morning. I'll follow up with them tomorrow to check on a task that was already started. 
I'll follow up with the vendor about the late delivery. We should follow up on that lead from the conference. He hasn't responded to my email, so I need to follow up with a phone call. Number seven, fill out. How do I request some days off? You need to submit the form to HR. All right, I'll do that. I just need to fill it out first. Forms are in the office. You need to fill out the form. To complete a form or document. Can you fill out this survey to provide feedback? She needs to fill out an application to apply for the position. The doctor asked me to fill out a medical form. Number eight, look up. What's the exchange rate for dollars to euros? I'm not sure. Can you Google it? Yeah, let me do that. I'll look it up right now. Let me know what it is. Let's look up the current exchange rate. To search for specific information. If you don't understand the word, look it up in the dictionary. Let's look up the client's previous orders before our meeting. I need to look up how to format this report correctly. Number nine. Bring up. There's an issue with our delivery system that we need to resolve. Have you discussed this with the team? Not yet. I'm planning to bring it up in the next team meeting. Great. It's important that we all work together on this. I'm planning to bring up the issue in the team meeting. To introduce a topic or issue. I'd like to bring up an issue with our project in today's meeting. She didn't want to bring up the mistake in front of everyone. He interrupted the speaker to bring up the issue of employee benefits. Number 10, carry out. The new policy needs to be implemented by next month. Do we have a plan for it? Yes. I've outlined a step-by-step -step process for the team. Great! Let's review it to make sure it's carried out efficiently. We have a plan for how we're going to carry it out. To execute or perform a task or plan. The research team carried out a series of experiments for the project. It's crucial that we carry out the client's instructions. The agency was hired to carry out a marketing campaign. Phrasal verbs for job interviews. Number one, run through. I'm a bit nervous about my interview tomorrow. Did you prepare well? I think so, 
but I could use some practice. Let's run through some common questions to help you prepare. Let's run through your answers one more time. To practice or review something. She ran through her presentation several times before the meeting. The coach ran through the plays with his team before the game. He always runs through his notes before an interview. Number two, come across as. I hope I make a good impression during the interview. Just be yourself and answer honestly. Thanks. I want to come across as confident and knowledgeable. With your skills, it won't be a problem. You want to come across as confident in the interview. To give a particular impression. He comes across as very friendly in his interviews. It's important to come across as professional and competent. She always comes across as calm and collected under pressure. Number three, set apart. There are so many candidates for this job. What makes you different? My experience in international markets should set me apart from the others. That's a great asset. Definitely highlight that. My unique skills set me apart from other candidates. To distinguish yourself or be different from others. Her creative problem solving skills set her apart in the interview. He was set apart by his extensive volunteer experience. The ability to speak multiple languages set her apart from the others. Number four, pick up. What would you say is one of your strengths? I can understand new concepts quickly, especially in my field. Can you give an example? Sure. I was able to pick up advanced data analysis techniques within a few weeks at my last job. I'm able to pick up new skills quickly at work. To learn or understand new skills rapidly. In her previous job, she picked up digital marketing skills. He's good at picking up the little details of different software programs. She was able to pick up project management skills through hands-on experience. Number five, go over. Your work experience is very impressive. I'm the type of person that loves to try and learn new things. While I was going over your resume, I noticed you have experience in marketing. Could you tell me about that? Absolutely. At my last job, I managed several successful digital marketing campaigns. 
I noticed your experience while going over your resume. To review or examine something. During the interview, they went over his role in previous projects. The interviewer went over her educational background to understand her qualifications. They went over the candidate's portfolio to assess her design skills. Number six, point out. I've faced many challenges in my career. Can you tell me about one? Sure, I'd like to point out a specific project on my resume that was very challenging. That would be great. Which one is it? I'd like to point out a specific project. To highlight something specific. During the interview, she pointed out her leadership role. He wanted to point out the awards listed on his resume. The candidate pointed out her proficiency in multiple languages. Number seven, talk up. How did the interview go? It went well. I tried to really emphasize my skills. Do you think you made a good impression? I think so. I talked up my project management skills and experience. I talked up my skills. To emphasize or promote something. He talked up his problem-solving abilities. She talked up her ability to manage a situation. He talked himself up a little too much during the interview. Number eight, think over. They offered me the job, but I'm not sure if it's right for me. Why not? I need to consider salary, commute time. I need to think it over. It's a big decision, so take your time. Think over the job offer before accepting to consider something carefully. She took a few days to think over the job proposal. It's important to think over the pros and cons of a new job. He asked for time to think over the changes in the contract. Number nine, turn down. I got offered two jobs, and I'm confused. You'll have to decide which one is better suited for you. It's so hard to turn down a good opportunity. Take your time and think it over. Deciding to turn down a job offer can be difficult. To refuse or reject something. She had to turn down the job due to relocation issues. The company turned him down and went with another candidate. She turned down the job offer because she had higher salary expectations. 
Number 10, follow up with. I haven't heard back after my interview last week. Did you send an email? Not yet. It could be a good idea to follow up with a polite email. Don't forget to follow up after the interview. To make additional contact for information. He followed up with the company a week after the interview. Following up shows your interest in the position. She sent a follow-up email to check the status of her application. Phrasal verbs for meetings. Number one, bring up. Did you hear about the new marketing strategy? No, I haven't. What's it about? We'll discuss it in today's meeting. Sure, make sure you bring it up. Please bring it up in the meeting. To introduce a topic for discussion. She brought up the issue of late deliveries during the meeting. I didn't want to bring up his mistake in front of everyone. It's essential to bring up any financial problems in the team meeting. Number two, leave aside. We've been discussing the branding for too long. There are still some concerns. Ugh, we have other urgent matters. Can we leave this aside for now? All right, let's revisit it next week. We can leave it aside and revisit it next week. To stop discussing something temporarily. Leaving aside the budget, let's focus on the event's schedule. Let's leave the hiring topic aside and talk about training. If we leave the controversial topics aside, we can finish the meeting faster. Number three, move on to. We've spent a lot of time talking about the budget. Don't forget, we have other items on the agenda. Let's finish this and move on to the next point. Right, time management is important. Let's move on to the next point. To continue to the next item or topic. Once this issue is resolved, we can move on to the event details. We need to move on to the main agenda. After addressing the feedback, we'll move on to the presentation. Number four, go through. The report is very detailed. Yeah, it has information on all our projects. We'll need some time to go through it. Let's dedicate the first hour of the meeting to do it. 
Let's go through everything for the first hour. To examine or review in detail. We need to go through the contract details before signing. Before logging off, I'd like to go through all the specifications. The team went through every proposal before making a decision. Number five, jump in. The meeting was so dynamic. Everyone had so many ideas. I noticed, especially when Sarah shared her thoughts. Yeah, and when she paused, David didn't hesitate to jump in. He always has a lot to contribute. David always jumps in during meetings. To start speaking or interrupt someone in a conversation. Feel free to jump in if you have any suggestions. I didn't mean to jump in, but I felt it was important to address that point. Whenever there's a pause, someone always jumps in with a new idea. Number six, come back to. The software integration seems complicated. Yeah, but we can't ignore the other issues. Let's come back to it later in the meeting. Good idea. We'll dedicate some time to that later. Let's come back to the issue later. To return to a particular topic later. We'll come back to the funding issue after lunch. Let's focus on the launch now and come back to marketing strategies later. If there are unresolved issues, we can always come back to them. Number seven, deal with. There have been some disagreements at the office lately. It's creating a tense environment. We can't let it continue. Let's deal with it at the next meeting. Good idea. It will be beneficial. We'll deal with it at the next meeting. To address or handle a situation. We'll deal with the complaints in today's meeting. Before wrapping up, we need to deal with the event logistics. I believe the HR team is best suited to deal with those concerns. Number eight, point out. The sales figures for the last quarter seem off. Yeah, I noticed an inconsistency in the report. When presenting, make sure to point it out. Will do. It's important that everyone is on the same page. I'll point out the inconsistency so everyone is aware. To indicate something. 
I'd like to point out the significant growth in our regional sales. As you go through the presentation, point out any discrepancies. Several team members pointed out the need for more training sessions. Number nine, zero in on. We are not getting anywhere in this meeting. We need to focus on the main issues. Let's zero in on the production challenges. They've been a concern lately. Good idea. We'll stay on that topic for a while. We have to zero in on the challenges. To focus intently on a particular topic or issue. During the meeting, we need to zero in on the supply chain problems. The CEO zeroed in on the company's vision during his speech. Let's zero in on the main objectives and leave the details for later. Number 10, hammer out. The contract negotiations are going to be tough. We have skilled negotiators on our side. They'll need time to hammer out the details. I have confidence they'll reach a beneficial agreement for us. The negotiators will hammer out the details for us to work hard in order to come to an agreement or solution. The teams worked late into the night to hammer out a deal. We need a few more sessions to hammer out the project specifics. Our leaders managed to hammer out an agreement after long discussions. Phrasal verbs for money. Number one, pay back. Hey, remember that $100 I loaned you last month? Yeah, I do. Why do you ask? It's the end of the month and the money is due. Oh, right. Let me grab my wallet. I forgot to pay you back. I forgot to pay you back the $100. Return money that you borrowed. She finally managed to pay back her student loans. He promised to pay back the money he borrowed next month. If you borrow money, make sure you have a plan to pay it back. Number two, save up. How come you're not ordering your normal cappuccino? Oh, I'm just trying to cut back on spending. Is there any reason? Yeah, I have my eyes on a new car. I'm saving up to buy it. I'm saving up to buy a new car. Save money over time for a particular purpose. Let's start saving up for a beautiful European vacation. They're saving up for their wedding. 
It's important to save up for emergencies. Number three, shell out. Are you still planning to get the latest iPhone model? Yeah, I've decided to do it. You know I love Apple. It's some serious cash. Are you sure about it? You just upgraded last year. I need the new model. You know that. Even if I have to shell out a ton of money for it. People shell out money for iPhones. Pay for something, especially when the cost is high. They had to shell out a lot of money for the house renovation. She shelled out a lot for a new designer dress. Don't shell out your money on unnecessary items. Number four, rake in. Your online store has been getting a lot of attention lately. Yeah, we've worked hard on marketing. You have to be making a profit now, right? Absolutely. We're raking it in. It's better than ever. They're raking in a lot of money. Earn a lot of money. Her business is raking in profits. The movie raked in millions at the box office. Find a job where you can rake in a good income. Number five, take out. That car repair must have cost a lot. Yeah, it was more than I had on hand. How did you manage to pay for it then? I didn't have a choice. I had to take out a loan. I had to take out a loan. Receive money from a bank. He decided to take out a loan for his startup. She took out a mortgage to buy her first house. Paying for things online is easier than taking out money to do it. Number six, pay off. How are you dealing with your student loan debt? Well, it's been a bit challenging, but I've been setting aside some money each month. That sounds like a wise strategy. Yeah, I think so too. I have to pay off all those loans. I have to pay off my student loans. Eliminate debt or a loan. She managed to pay off her student loans within five years. If you don't pay off your credit card on time, you'll have to pay interest. Paying off your debts on time can improve your credit score. Number seven, rip off. How did shopping at that new online store go? Not great. 
the product looked nothing like the picture. Plus, it was way too expensive for its quality. That's not good at all. You were excited about the deal. Yeah, but I feel like I got ripped off. That website ripped me off. Charge someone too much for something or take advantage of them. Don't let dishonest merchants rip you off. She felt ripped off after buying a knockoff product. Researching prices can help prevent getting ripped off. Number eight, chip in. We're buying a gift for our teacher. Would you like to contribute? Yeah, I'd love to. Great, we're collecting $10 from each person. Here's my contribution. I'm glad to chip in for a great cause. I'm happy to chip in for the teacher. Contribute money for a specific purpose. Everyone chipped in to buy the office a new coffee machine. I'll chip in for the pizza. Chipping in can make big purchases more affordable for everyone. Phrasal verbs for the economy. Number one, go under. Did you hear about that local cafe? No, what happened? They just couldn't keep up with the rent increases. It's sad to see them go under after being here for so long. The cafe had to go under due to high rent. To fail financially. Many small businesses go under during economic recessions. She watched her favorite bookstore go under because of online competition. The restaurant went under after losing its regular customers. Number two, close down. Why is the community center closed? Budget cuts. They had to close it down. That's a shame. It was such a great place for the kids. Yeah, the neighborhood will really miss it. The community center closed down due to budget cuts. To permanently shut down operations. The old factory closed down, leaving many without jobs. Due to the pandemic, several shops on Main Street had to close down. They closed down the library because of a lack of funding. Number three, lay off. Things are so tough right now in the labor market. Yeah, it's been a tough week for us too. How's your job? Everything okay? We're in uncertain times. I'm just hoping they don't lay me off. I hope I don't get laid off by the company to dismiss employees from their jobs. 
the airline had to lay off many of its staff due to reduced flights. He was laid off during the tech company's restructuring. After the merger, the new management laid off a third of the workforce. Number four, cut back. Have you noticed the changes in the park? You mean the lack of maintenance? Exactly. They haven't cut the grass and the fountain stopped working. They cut back on funding. It's affecting everything. The city cut back on park maintenance. To reduce the amount or number of something. We've had to cut back on dining out to save money. The school cut back on extra activities due to funding issues. Families are cutting back on vacations during the economic downturn. Number five, mark up. Groceries are getting expensive. It's inflation. It's out of control. It's getting harder and harder to afford basic items. The grocery store marked up basic goods by about 15%. Stores have marked up prices to increase the price of goods. The local shop marked up essentials during the shortage. Consumers noticed a markup in electronic goods this year. Gasoline prices were marked up due to increased oil prices. Number six, fall off. There's a noticeable decline in car sales this quarter. Demand has really fallen off. It's probably due to the rise in gas prices. The inflation is getting way out of hand. Car sales have fallen off due to economic changes. To decrease in level, intensity, or amount. Tourist arrivals fell off during the winter months. The interest in the new technology fell off as it became outdated. His performance fell off after the injury. Number seven, bottom out. Remember when the housing market crashed? Those were tough times. Everyone was struggling. I hope it wasn't too hard for you. It was definitely toughest when it bottomed out, but everything has recovered since then. The housing market bottomed out during the crash. To reach the lowest point before improving. After bottoming out, the stock market began to slowly recover. His grades bottomed out last semester, but he's been improving. Car sales bottomed out during the lockdown, but are picking up now. Number eight, bail out. Did you hear what the government did for big banks? 
I can't believe how they decided to save the big banks and leave us behind. Too big to fail, I guess. The amount of money involved is crazy. It's in the trillions. They should have bailed out the people instead of the banks. We're struggling. The government had to bail out the banks. To rescue someone from a difficult situation. Small businesses are hoping to be bailed out to survive the current crisis. The government had to bail out the banks to save the economy. He had to bail out his friend's failing restaurant with a loan. Number 9. Ride Out How's your family handling the economic downturn? We're trying to stay positive. It's always best to stay positive. We're cutting back and writing it out. Hopefully it ends soon. We're trying to ride out the economic downturn. To endure a difficult period or situation. They're riding out the tough times by saving and budgeting. The company is riding out the recession by minimizing expenses. Farmers often have to ride out periods of drought or low growth. Number 10. Get through. I've been struggling with my budget lately. These are hard times. I've had to make a lot of cuts. It's just crazy. Hang in there. We'll get through it. We'll get through these hard times. To successfully manage a difficult situation. Families are finding ways to get through the financial crisis. She got through the tough period with support from friends. They managed to get through the winter with limited resources. Number 11. Jumpstart Have you seen the new policy? Yeah, it's designed to stimulate growth. Hopefully, it leads to more job creation. That's the goal, to jumpstart the economy. The new policy aims to jumpstart economic recovery. To start something quickly. The government's investment is intended to jumpstart the construction sector. Lowering interest rates can jumpstart consumer spending. He tried to jumpstart his career with a new qualification. Number 12. Turn Around The new CEO has made some big changes. Have you noticed how much things are improving? Yeah, the profits are up and morale is higher. It's impressive how quickly things can turn around with good leadership. The company's fortunes are turning around under new management to reverse a negative situation and improve it. 
The investments helped turn around the failing school. After years of losses, the business finally turned around. After years of hard work, she turned her life around. Number 13. Bounce Back I invested all of my savings in crypto and it dropped 90%. You haven't heard the news? No. What happened? That crash was crazy, but the entire market bounced back. It's up. The market is starting to bounce back after the recession. To recover from a decline. After the recession, the job market bounced back. The tourism sector bounced back once travel restrictions were lifted. Small businesses are bouncing back thanks to local support. Number 14. Build Back The country really went through a difficult time last year. Even today, we can still feel the effects of it. Luckily, we're building everything back. We'll be prepared for anything next time. We're building back the community stronger than before. To rebuild or strengthen after damage. The city is building back its tourism industry post-pandemic. She's building back her health and fitness after the injury. Efforts to build back the mall are underway after the fire. Number 15. Look up. I was worried about my job security. How are things now? Much better. The industry's looking up, thankfully. That's great to hear. Things are looking up. To improve or seem better. With new investments, the tech sector is looking up. Things are looking up for him since he changed careers. Despite a slow start, the restaurant's future is looking up. Number 16. Ramp Up Our team is getting ready for the product launch. How's it going? All ready? They're ramping up production right now. Hopefully there will be a ton of demand. They're ramping up production to meet the demand. To increase the amount or speed of something. The company ramped up marketing efforts for the holiday season. To meet the deadline, the team ramped up their pace. They ramped up their efforts to clean the polluted river. Number 17. Level Off Looks like the housing market is finally stabilizing. Prices are already way better than they were a few months ago. 
That's good for buyers. Yeah, they've leveled off a lot. Hopefully, the prices go even lower. Housing prices are leveling off. To become stable after a period of change or growth. After rapid growth, the startup's revenues leveled off. Her performance leveled off after a year of improvement. The population growth in the city has finally leveled off. Number 18, pay off. I decided to invest in the stock market. I hope it was a good decision. Do you have a long-term strategy? I'm just going to hold it for a while and hopefully make a good profit. That decision could pay off eventually. I hope you get rich. The investment will eventually pay off. To result in success after work or investment. Her dedication to her studies is paying off with excellent grades. The risk the company took is finally paying off. All the time spent training is paying off for the athlete. Phrasal verbs for technology. Number one, bring up. Which project did you want to review? The one for the Smith family. Hold on, let me bring it up on my computer. Great, I want to check some details from it. Let me bring it up on the computer. To open a file, program, or topic on a computer. Can you bring up the sales report from last month? I tried to bring up the website, but it seems to be down. I brought up Everything English with John and became a channel member. Number two, zoom in. Look at this photo I took during our hike. I can't really see it very well. Let me zoom in on it for you. Ah, that's much clearer. Wow, it's beautiful. I'll zoom in for a closer view. To magnify a part of an image or screen. If you zoom in, you can see the tiny text. The software lets you zoom in without losing image quality. She zoomed in on the map to see the street names. Number three, type in. Do you need any help? Yeah, how can I search for an article on this website? Just type in the keywords in the search bar. All right, doing that now. Just type the words in the search bar. To input using a keyboard. I typed in my question, but there were no relevant results. Make sure to type in the correct address.
she quickly typed in her notes during the lecture. Number four, put in. I'm trying to access the team's shared folder. What's the password? It's team 2023. But remember, it's case sensitive. All right, putting it in now, and I'm in. Thanks. No problem. You need to put in the correct password. To enter information, especially a password. Every time I want to check my email, I have to put in a password. If you put in the wrong PIN three times, the ATM will take your card. She put in the code to unlock the door. Number five, lock out. I'm having trouble logging into my account. Uh, did you forget your password again? I might have, and after several attempts, it locked me out. Don't worry, I'll help you reset it. I tried my password too many times, and now I'm locked out. To prevent someone from accessing a system or account. If you enter the wrong password too many times, the system will lock you out. I got locked out of my phone. Can you help? Due to security reasons, the software locks you out after 10 minutes of inactivity. Number six, back up. Did you hear about Mary? She lost all of her files in a computer crash. That's horrible. I keep my files on an external hard drive. Do you back up your whole computer drive or just the files? Absolutely. It's essential, even though it takes up a lot of space. It's a good idea to back up your computer. To make a copy of computer data in case of a computer malfunction. It's a good habit to back up your photos regularly. I back up my laptop every weekend. The software automatically backs up my contacts. Number seven, run out of. I can't update my apps. There's a warning. Oh, are you running low on storage? I think I ran out of storage completely. Yeah, videos and photos use up space quickly. My phone ran out of storage. To exhaust or use all of a certain thing. I run out of battery often because I play so many games on my phone. We ran out of printer ink right before an important report. If you stream a lot, you might run out of data. Number eight, use up. 
Do you know why my laptop's running slow? You might have too many applications open. It's affecting your RAM. It's probably using up all my RAM. I'll close some of them and see if it helps. Also, try restarting. That might help too. Multiple applications can use up all your memory. To consume or use something completely. Streaming high definition videos can use up a lot of bandwidth. If you have too many tabs open, you might use up all the computer's processing power. Don't use up all the data. We still have half the month to go. Number 9. Cut off. How did the meeting go? Not so good. I was in the middle of an important call and suddenly I couldn't hear anything. Sounds like your connection was cut off. Yeah, the signal in this area is pretty weak. Being cut off during an important task can be frustrating. To stop the flow or supply of something, especially abruptly. My internet got cut off right when I was about to submit my project. The power was cut off during the storm. If you don't pay the bill on time, they'll cut off the service. Number 10. Click on. How do I view the details of this product? Nothing is working. The link should be directly on the image. Oh, that worked. I just had to click on it. Better than going to the store. To view the product details, just click on its name. To select a computer file or link by pressing it with a mouse, touchpad, or finger. She clicked on the link and it led to a suspicious site. Whenever I click on this app, my phone freezes. Don't click on random pop-ups. They might contain malware. Phrasal verbs for starting. Number one, set up. I'm thinking about starting my own business. That sounds so exciting. What kind of business are you planning? I want to set up a coffee shop near here. People can come and relax, drink coffee, and practice English. That's a great idea. I'm thinking about setting up my own business to create or arrange something. They set up a meeting for next week. I need to set up my new computer. Can you help me set up this tent? Number 2. Kick off. Let's start the meeting with some good news for all. I'm ready to hear it. I love good news. 
First, we've exceeded our sales target for this quarter, and we couldn't be more excited. That's the best way to kick off a meeting. That's the best way to kick off a meeting. To start or initiate something. The concert kicked off with a bang. They kicked off the conference with a keynote speech. Let's kick off the project as soon as possible. Number three, dive in. I've always wanted to learn how to paint. Well, there's no better time to learn a skill than right now. You're right. I think I'll call to join a class. That's the spirit. Call them up and dive into the world of art. Join the class and dive into the world of art. To start something enthusiastically without hesitation. Let's dive in and get this project started. He dived into his work as soon as he got to the office. Don't be afraid to dive in and try something new. Number four, fire up. Are you ready for the hamburgers yet? I'm starving. We are making hot dogs too, right? We can make those too, if you want. So, let's fire up the grill and get started. Let's fire up the grill and get started. To ignite. We can also say, I'm fired up, which means excited, passionate, or ignited. The coach's speech fired up the team. My dad gets too fired up when he reads about politics. Let's fire up the grill and start the barbecue. Number five, take off. We've been working on this product for months. Let's hope the launch goes well. Our hard work will definitely pay off. You'll see. Thanks for being part of this team. It's my pleasure. This product will take off. We're going to be rich. The product will take off. To start to be successful. Her business took off after her product was featured on TV. The band's career took off after their first hit single. His idea really took off in the meeting. Everyone loved it. Number six, start over. Is the math correct? Well, I don't know why you used those variables and the numbers don't make sense. But you told me to use this formula. No, that's the wrong one. Erase it. Start over. Use the other one. I hate math. Erase it. Start over. 
to begin something again from the beginning. After the fire, they had to start over with nothing. He moved to a new city to start over. I messed up the painting, so I decided to start over. Number 7. Embark on. I've decided to make a change. Wow, what are you going to do? I'm going back to school to get my master's degree. That's a significant step. But if you embark on the journey of education, it will definitely pay off. Embark on the journey of education and it will pay off. To start a journey, a project, or a course of action. They embarked on a world tour. She's embarking on a new career. We're embarking on a major renovation project. Number 8. Set Off Our road trip starts tomorrow morning. That sounds exciting. What time are you leaving? Well, I'm not sure if I should leave before or after rush hour. If you set off early, you'll be in better shape. Setting off early is a good idea. To start a journey or to leave. They set off for Paris at dawn. We're setting off on a hiking adventure this weekend. She set off for college with high hopes. Phrasal verbs for finishing. Number one, cap off. Our annual company retreat was a great success. Yeah, the team building activities were fun and interactive. The dinner by the beach was fantastic too. And to cap it off, the CEO gave an inspiring speech. To cap it off, the CEO gave a speech. To finish or conclude something, in a memorable or special way. She decided to cap off her graduation ceremony with a moving speech. The music festival was capped off with a spectacular firework display. To cap off their vacation, they decided to go skydiving. Number 2. Wrap Up First on the agenda is reviewing company policy. Then we'll go over our objectives for the quarter. How long will the meeting be? About an hour. We'll wrap everything up around 1 p.m. Sounds good to me. We'll wrap up the meeting around 1. To finish or complete something. It's time to wrap up this chapter and start the next one. The speakers tried to wrap up by the scheduled end time. Let's wrap up this meeting and move on to the next one. Number 3. Wind Down You've been working for hours, 
Aren't you tired? Actually, yeah, I'm totally worn out. Why don't you stop for the day? You've done so much. Maybe you're right. I'll wind down with a cup of tea. I'll wind down with a cup of tea. To relax after a period of excitement or anxiety, or to approach the end of a day or an event. After a long day of meetings, she likes to wind down with a yoga session. They usually wind down their day with a walk in the park. The party was fantastic, but it's time to turn off the music and wind down. Number four, finish off. It's been such a long day of hiking. Yeah, we covered some serious ground. I loved every moment, the scenery, the fresh air, the exercise. Before we head home, let's finish it off with a nice picnic by the river. We can finish off the hike with a picnic. To complete the final part of something. She decided to finish off a long week of work with a good book. The team worked tirelessly to finish off the project before the deadline. He finished off his dinner with a sweet dessert. Number five, close out. We're so close to completing this deal. Have we finished working out all the details? I've gone over it a few times and it looks like we're ready. Perfect. Let's close it out. Let's close out the deal. To complete a business deal. They closed out the deal with a handshake and a sigh of relief. After intense negotiations, the company was able to close out the merger deal. He successfully closed out a multi-million dollar deal for the company. Number six, go under. The economic recession has hit many businesses hard. I noticed even businesses that were successful have been affected. It's hard to see so many of them struggle so much. Unfortunately, many of them have already gone under. Many businesses have gone under. To fail financially, especially in business. The iconic fashion brand went under after years of financial struggles. Despite best efforts to save it, the restaurant went under. The economic crisis caused many small businesses to go under. Number seven, close down. Not many people are going to the mall lately. A lot of stores there are struggling to make a profit. Did you hear that some of them decided to relocate to 100% online?
I did, and many others have had to close down. Many stores have had to close down. To stop doing business permanently. Due to persistent losses, the owners decided to close down the store. The pandemic forced many restaurants to close down permanently. The factory had to close down due to environmental regulations. Number 8. End up. Hey, Sarah. Long time no see. Hi, Bob. It's been too long. Are you still friends with Ted? What's he up to these days? Oh, Ted ended up moving to California, and now he works as a professor. Wow, that's a big change. Ted ended up moving to California to finally be in a particular place or situation. After trying out several careers, he ended up as a successful writer. They took a spontaneous road trip and ended up in a quaint seaside town. She ended up adopting the stray cat that she had been feeding. Phrasal verbs for success. Number one, catch on. Did you see the new phone that was launched? Yeah, it has some impressive features. I've heard it's expected to be the next big thing. I won't be surprised if it quickly catches on. I wouldn't be surprised if it catches on. When a trend or product becomes popular. Eco-friendly products usually catch on quickly these days. The new style of music took a while to catch on. I hope this sustainable fashion trend catches on. Number two, take over. Our show was fourth in the TV ratings last month. But this month, we introduced some fresh content. Yeah. The audience feedback has been overwhelming. We might just take over the top spot. We might take over the top spot to gain control or dominance. Streaming services are taking over traditional TV channels. Many feared the new CEO would try to take over all aspects of the company. Local businesses are finding it hard to compete as big franchises take over. Number three, take off. Remember the new product line of eco-friendly bags we introduced? Yes, the ones made from recycled materials? Exactly. They've become a massive hit. Wow, so they really took off. The new product really took off to become very popular or successful 
in a short amount of time. The new app took off faster than anyone anticipated. His career really took off after that blockbuster movie. Nobody expected the crazy invention to take off the way it did. Number four, bring in. Our charity event is next week. Yeah, and we have some big sponsors on board this time. I heard some celebrities are attending too. This could bring in a significant amount of money. We could bring in a large amount of money. To earn or generate revenue or something positive. The new marketing strategy brought in a lot of new customers. The sales team managed to bring in record profits this quarter. Hosting events can bring in additional income for the restaurant. Number five, sell out. The artist's limited edition prints are on sale. They're so beautiful, and there's so much buzz around them. I want to buy one before it's too late. Hurry up. They might sell out. The limited edition prints might sell out when all items or tickets are sold. The concert tickets sold out in just five minutes. I wanted that dress, but it sold out before I could buy it. The limited edition snacks always sell out quickly. Number six, move up. I've been with the company for five years now. I've seen how dedicated and hardworking you are. They offered me the position of team leader. You deserve it. It's about time you moved up. You deserve to move up. To advance, especially in one's job. She worked hard and moved up to a managerial position. After completing the training, he moved up to a senior role. If you want to move up in this industry, you need to network effectively. Number seven, pay off. The training for the marathon was so intense. You were up every morning, rain or shine. I finished in the top 10. See, all your hard work paid off. After all that work, it paid off to result in success or a reward. Her dedication to studying really paid off during the exams. Investing in green technologies is starting to pay off for many companies.
all those extra hours he put into the project really paid off. Number eight, pull off. I heard you're trying to organize a surprise party for Emily in just two days. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can manage everything in such a short time. With your planning skills, I'm sure you can. Thanks. I hope I can pull it off. I hope I can pull off the surprise party. To successfully accomplish something difficult. Despite the challenges, the team managed to pull off a victory. She pulled off an amazing performance, even without rehearsal. Against all odds, they pulled off the event flawlessly. Phrasal verbs for failure. Number one, fall through. I heard you were planning a big event next month. We were, but not all sponsors confirmed. So what's the next move? Sadly, it seems the event might fall through. The event might fall through. When plans fail to happen. The deal with the client fell through at the last moment. Our travel plans fell through because of the unexpected weather conditions. The project might fall through if we don't get the necessary permissions. Number two, let down. Did the team deliver the project on time? They promised, but they didn't meet the deadline. That's unfortunate. Yeah, they really let us down. They didn't meet the deadline. They let us down. To disappoint by not meeting expectations. The movie was a letdown compared to the book. The new update let me down with many bugs and issues. She felt let down by her friends when they didn't support her. Number three, throw away. She had a chance to intern at a top company, but she declined it to travel, right? Exactly. Sounds like she threw away a great opportunity. She threw away a great opportunity to waste a chance or potential benefit. He threw away the opportunity to study at an Ivy League school. They threw away a lead in the game and eventually lost. It felt like I threw away years of hard work. Number four, burn out. She's been working 80 hour weeks for months. That's not sustainable. I agree, she's showing signs of fatigue. 
she might burn out if she continues this way. Don't work too hard or you'll burn out. To become exhausted, especially as a result of constant stress. Many employees burn out due to excessive workload. It's essential to take breaks and rest to avoid burnout. Creative professionals often face burnout when they don't take time off. Number five, give up. The puzzle is too difficult to solve. We've been at it for hours. Maybe we should ask for a hint? Or maybe we just give up. After hours of trying, let's give up. To quit or stop trying. After multiple attempts, he gave up trying to assemble the furniture. It's not in her nature to give up easily. She didn't give up on her dreams, even when faced with challenges. Number six, break down. The team was working tirelessly. Right, but then disagreements came up. Now, they aren't on speaking terms. Their communication just broke down. Their communication broke down to stop functioning. The negotiations broke down after neither party would compromise. The car broke down in the middle of the desert. Their relationship broke down after years of misunderstandings. Number seven, dry up. Their cafe was always packed. What happened? After the football season ended, people stopped going. I guess the business dried up. I guess the business dried up. When business or opportunities decrease or vanish. Many businesses dried up during the economic downturn. The gold rush town dried up when resources were exhausted. After the new regulations, investments in the sector dried up. Number eight, die down. The hype around the product was huge at launch, but now no one's talking about it. Seems like the initial excitement died down. That happens with most trends. They lose momentum after a while. Most trends die down after a while. When excitement, activity, or attention reduces or stops. The controversy died down after a few weeks. 
the storm died down and residents could return home. After the holiday season, the sales usually die down. Phrasal verbs for problems. Number one, figure out. I've been staring at this math problem for an hour. It's like trying to read a foreign language. Math can be challenging. Want me to help? That would be great. I'm lost. Don't worry. We can figure it out together. We can figure out the problem together. To understand or find a solution to a problem. After talking to her classmate, they managed to figure out the math problem. They used the Maps app to figure out the best route for their road trip. The detective was able to figure out the mystery after learning important information. Number two, break down. I still don't understand this math problem. If you take the 100 and divide it in two, it will become easier. Oh, so now I can work with a 50 and a 50? Exactly. And if you break those down, you can work with 25, 25, 25, and 25. You can break the numbers down to work with them. To simplify a complex concept into understandable parts. She managed to break down the recipe into simple, easy to follow steps. He broke down the fundamentals of photography for the new learners. The math tutor broke down the problem into simpler equations. Number three. Think through. I am considering adopting a pet. That's a big decision. Yeah, I know. Make sure you think it through before deciding. Think it through before deciding to consider all aspects of a situation or problem. She didn't think through the consequences before making her decision. It's important to think through your options before choosing a career. Think it through before investing your money or suffer the consequences. Number four, talk over. I'm not sure where we should go on our trip. Let's sit down after dinner. Sounds good. We can talk it over and make a list of destinations. We can talk it over after dinner to discuss a problem or situation. We need to talk over our plans for the upcoming event. They decided to talk over their differences calmly to repair their friendship. Before launching the new product, 
Let's talk it over with the marketing team. Number five, sort out. The closet is a complete mess. I noticed that too. We need to organize it and clean it up. Let's sort it out this weekend. Let's sort out the messy closet. To organize or resolve a problem. I need to sort out my closet for the upcoming season. He sorted out the fridge, throwing away expired items. She sorted out the laundry into darks and lights. Number six, deal with. The neighbor's music is too loud. I hear it too. How annoying. What should we do? Don't worry. I'll deal with it and talk to them. I'll deal with the neighbors. To address or handle a situation or problem. Our team is trained to deal with customer complaints efficiently. She had to deal with a flat tire on her way to work. She dealt with the crying baby by rocking him to sleep. Number seven. Iron out. This trip itinerary looks good, but some details are missing. You're right. This is just the first draft. We need this to be perfect. We'll iron out the details tonight. Let's iron out the details tonight. To resolve or fix the minor problems. He took the time to iron out all the bugs in the software before launch. She worked late to iron out the mistakes in the report before the deadline. They met with the contractor to iron out the details of the renovation project. Number eight, face up to. I've been avoiding talking to him after our argument. You can't avoid him forever. I know, but it's hard. It's time to face up to it and apologize. Face up to it and apologize. To accept and manage a difficult fact or problem. He had to face up to the fact that he wasn't going to make the team. He finally faced up to his mistakes and apologized to his friend. She had to face up to the fact that she couldn't afford to buy a new car. Number nine, narrow down. We've taken so many photos on our trip. There's too many. It's overwhelming. How can we choose the best ones? 
we'll narrow it down to our top 20 favorites. We'll narrow it down to our favorites to reduce the number of possibilities. She narrowed down her list of colleges to her top three choices. They narrowed down the list of job applicants to the most qualified candidates. She narrowed down her shopping list to only the essential items. Number 10, see about. The sink's been leaking again. That's annoying. Should we call someone? Yeah, I'll see about getting it fixed. I'll see about getting it fixed. To check something, to manage it. She said she would see about getting the printer fixed. We should see about booking a venue for the wedding soon. She went to see about a new job opportunity. Phrasal verbs for life. Number one, name after. Do you have a middle name? Yeah, it's Elizabeth. Beautiful name. Why did your parents choose that name? They named me after my grandmother. I was named after my grandmother. To give a child the same name as another person. His son was named after his favorite author. She was named after her aunt, who was a famous artist. Many children in our family are named after grandparents. Number two. Take after. You have your father's eyes. Yeah, everyone says I look like him. It's not just the eyes. Even your personalities are similar. I guess I take after him in more ways than one. Children often take after their parents. To be similar to a family member in appearance or behavior. He takes after his mother. They both love classical music. She takes after her side of the family with her artistic skills. The twins take after their dad. Their mannerisms are the same. Number three, bring up. Were you always so independent? Yeah, my parents raised me that way. That's a great quality to have. I agree. They brought me up the right way. My parents brought me up the right way. To raise a child. They were brought up in a very supportive environment. He was brought up to respect all cultures and backgrounds. Her grandmother brought her up with traditional values. 
Number four, grow up. This neighborhood has changed a lot since I was a child. I didn't realize you lived here when you were younger. Oh, yeah, I grew up here. This is a great place for families. Where you grow up can have a big impact on your personality. To become an adult. She grew up in a small town, but moved to the city for college. They grew up traveling around the world due to their parents' jobs. I grew up in this city, but now I live in a small town. Number five, go through. I was always depressed as a teenager. Well, I think everyone feels that way from time to time. I agree. I went through a lot of changes at that time in my life. The teenage years are a unique experience for everyone. Everyone goes through the problems of adolescence. To experience a specific period, often with difficulties. She went through a rebellious phase during her high school years. The company is going through a major transition right now. Going through college was a challenging experience. Number six, end up. So tell me, were you expecting to be a businesswoman? Honestly, no. I started in a completely different field. Life is completely unpredictable, isn't it? Absolutely. You never know where you'll end up. You never know where you'll end up in life. To be in a final situation. He ended up living abroad after falling in love while traveling. They never planned to end up in the suburbs because they were from the city. She ended up changing her major three times in college. Number seven, settle down. Do you ever think about starting a family? You mean like getting married and having kids? Yeah, that sort of thing. I do. Maybe in a few years, I'll be ready to settle down. It's good to settle down and start a family at some point. To begin a stable lifestyle, often involving work and family. After years of traveling, they decided to settle down in a small coastal town. Many of her friends are starting to settle down and have children. He wasn't sure if he was ready to settle down and buy a house. Number eight, hand down. That's an incredible watch. Is it new? No, my father gave it to me. Was it his originally? 
No, it's from my grandfather. He handed it down to my father. His father handed it down to him, and now he gave it to me. To give something valuable to a younger person in the family. The recipes in our family have been handed down for generations. My mother handed her jewelry down to me. The watch was handed down to him on his 18th birthday. Number 9. Live Up To My dad wants me to become a doctor like him. Do you ever feel pressure to do it? Sometimes, but I want to live my own life. He wants you to live up to his expectations for you. I'm sure it's not easy. I feel pressure to live up to his high expectations for me. To achieve what is expected, especially high standards. She's always trying to live up to her older sister's academic achievements. The new CEO has a lot to live up to. He wants to live up to his potential and make a difference in the world. Number 10. Look back on. When you remember your childhood, what stands out? The endless summer days playing outside with my friends. They were incredibly fun. They sound like good times. They were. Looking back on it, I realize that I miss them so much. Looking back on the past can bring feelings of nostalgia. To think about something that happened in the past. Looking back on old memories made her feel sad. He looks back on his college years as a time of growth and exploration. As they look back on their journey, they feel a sense of accomplishment. Phrasal verbs for health. Number one, throw up. How was the boat ride? Terrible. The boat kept rocking back and forth. That sounds awful. Yeah, I had to run to the side of the boat and throw up. I threw up on the rocky boat ride. To vomit. The child threw up after eating too much candy. She felt nauseous and was afraid she'd throw up. After the roller coaster ride, he had to throw up. Number two, swell up. What happened to your knee? I got stung by a bee. Wow, it's gigantic. It really swelled up. Yeah, I have to put some ice on it. Her ankle swelled up after the fall. To become larger, usually due to injury or inflammation. 
My face swelled up after an allergic reaction. If the bite continues to swell up, see a doctor. The mosquito bite made my arm swell up. Number three, fight off. I've been feeling under the weather. I hope it's nothing too serious. It could be a cold. It could be the flu. Take some vitamin C and you should be able to fight it off. He managed to fight off the cold before it got worse. To resist an illness or infection. She's been taking vitamins to fight off the flu. Exercise and a balanced diet can help you fight off illnesses. He's been trying to fight off that cough for weeks. Number four, shake off. You seem a bit off today. Just a headache, nothing too bad. Maybe some fresh air would help. I've been trying to shake it off all day. That could help. She went for a walk to shake off her headache. To eliminate an unwanted feeling or condition. After a quick nap, he managed to shake off his tiredness. She tried to shake off the bad mood with some music. It's hard to shake off the grogginess after an all-nighter. Number five, get rid of. I've had this persistent cough for a week. You should see a doctor. I'll schedule an appointment. Hopefully, you'll get some medicine to get rid of it for good. She finally got rid of her migraines with some new medication. To eliminate. He wants to get rid of that rash that's been bothering him. You should drink more water to get rid of those toxins. The doctor gave her antibiotics to get rid of the infection. Number six, come down with. Jack isn't at school today. What happened? Is he okay? He came down with a cold. He'll be fine after a little rest. Hope he feels better soon. Jack came down with a cold. To start showing symptoms of a sickness. Many students have come down with the flu this season. Avoid close contact if you've come down with something contagious. He came down with a nasty cough and fever. Number seven, pass out. It was so hot during the marathon. The runners looked like they were really struggling. Not just struggling, 
I saw a few of them pass out. That's terrible. It's so important to stay hydrated. If you're active and don't hydrate, you might pass out. To lose consciousness. She passed out after standing for hours in the sun. Make sure you eat before giving blood, or you might pass out. He felt dizzy and then passed out. Number 8. Care for How's your grandmother? Recovering. We're all taking turns to care for her. That's kind of you. Family is number one. She had surgery, so her son is caring for her. To make sure someone is okay, especially during illness or injury. Nurses care for patients day and night. When he was sick, his neighbors came to care for his pets. Parents care for their children when they're unwell. Number 9. Pull Through I heard about the accident. How is he? It was serious. The doctors didn't know if he would be okay, but... But what? Thankfully, they said he'll pull through. Despite the severity of the illness, she pulled through. To recover from a serious illness or situation. With the right care and treatment, many patients pull through. The community helped the family pull through the crisis. He's strong. He'll pull through this challenge. Number 10. Pass Away I haven't seen Mr. Johnson lately. I hate to break it to you, but he passed away last month. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Thank you. He lived a full life. Her grandmother passed away peacefully in her sleep. To die. Many great artists pass away, but their works live on. He passed away after a long battle with sickness. She passed away surrounded by loved ones. Phrasal verbs for sleep. Number one, sleep in. Wow, I slept for a long time. Yeah, but you look refreshed this morning. I decided to sleep in today. I needed the extra rest. It's the weekend, after all. A perfect time for it. I slept in because I needed the extra rest. To sleep later than usual. On Sunday, I usually sleep in to recover from the busy week. The hotel room was so comfortable that we decided to sleep in. After the long journey, 
they needed to sleep in to recharge. Number two, sleep over. It's raining outside. The weather is terrible. Are you sure you want to drive in it? I should be careful. If you want to sleep over, it's no problem. You're more than welcome. It's dangerous to drive. You can sleep over. To stay the night in someone else's home. My son slept over his friend's house last weekend. I had to sleep over at the office because of the snowstorm. Remember to bring a sleeping bag if you're going to sleep over. Number three, stay up. Did you catch the late night movie marathon? I wanted to, but I fell asleep. I saw it. I stayed up until midnight. It was great. I'll try to catch it next time. I'd probably need a lot of coffee. I'll try to stay up for it. To stay awake late into the night. I stayed up late to finish the book I was reading. He stayed up studying for his exams all night. Sometimes we stay up talking and lose track of time. Number four, nod off. Could you let me know what happened in the meeting? Why? Didn't I see you there? Yeah, I was there, but I nodded off for the last part. Too much work, you know? I didn't know you fell asleep. Sure, I'll fill you in on the details later. I nodded off during the meeting. To begin to fall asleep. The warm room made her nod off during the lecture. I nodded off during the train ride and almost missed my stop. After the heavy meal, he nodded off on the couch. Number five, doze off. Are you okay? You look tired. I fell asleep in the library. Did your book put you to sleep? I'm not sure why. I just dozed off without realizing it. I dozed off while reading my book to fall into a light sleep unintentionally. He dozed off during the long flight. She was so relaxed on the beach that she dozed off in the sun. During the boring meeting, several participants dozed off. Number six, turn in. You're yawning a lot. Had a long day? Yeah, I'm beat. Maybe you should go to bed early tonight. Good idea. I think it's time to turn in. Good night.
Turning in early is a good idea. To go to bed. I'm ready to turn in. It's been a long day. She decided to turn in early to be fresh for the interview. If you turn in early, you'll be well rested. Number seven, wake up. Did you hear that thunderstorm last night? No, I slept like a rock. Lucky you, I woke up every time there was thunder. That's a rough night. It must have been a bad storm. Waking up in the middle of the night isn't ideal. To stop sleeping. She usually wakes up to the sound of her alarm. The crying baby woke me up in the middle of the night. Go wake your brother up. It's time for school. Number eight, get up. You look exhausted. The baby kept waking me up. That's tough. Does it happen often? Yeah. I have to get up a few times per night. It's not easy. I have to get up a few times per night. To rise to your feet. He got up early for his morning run. I have to get up at 6 a.m. every morning. She gets up from her desk every hour to take a short walk. Number nine, sleep through. Did you hear the party on the streets last night? What party? It was so loud. It woke me up several times. I guess I slept through it. I didn't hear the party. I slept through it. To stay sleeping and not wake up during an event. He can sleep through alarms, which is why he's often late. Even with the construction noise, she slept through the morning. The baby slept through the night for the first time. Number 10. Catch up on. You're looking much better today. I finally got the rest I needed after a long week. Weekends are great for catching up on sleep. Yeah, I feel ready for anything now. Catching up on sleep is essential for recovery. To sleep more to recover lost sleep. During the holidays, Many people catch up on sleep. He planned to catch up on sleep after the project deadline. I need to catch up on my sleep after a long week. Number 11. Pass out. You missed a really great night. What happened? It was an incredible event. I'll tell you about it later. 
sorry I missed it. I was so exhausted. I just passed out on the couch. I was so tired. I just passed out. To fall asleep very quickly. After the double shift at work, she came home and passed out. The students partied all night and then passed out in their dorms. I passed out on the couch during the movie marathon. Phrasal verbs for describing people. Number one, come across as. I met a very interesting woman at the conference today. Oh, really? What was she like? She came across as very intelligent and well-spoken. Sounds like a good connection. She came across as intelligent and well-spoken. To make an impression. In the interview, he came across as confident and well-prepared. Despite being shy, she manages to come across as friendly and approachable. The politician's speech made him come across as compassionate and understanding. Number two, act up. How is Timmy doing at school? Honestly, not so well. He's been having behavioral problems. Sorry to hear that. What does he do? Well, just normal kid stuff. He keeps acting up and can't focus very well. Timmy keeps acting up at school. To behave badly. To not work or function correctly. The children tend to act up when they're tired or bored. The printer always seems to act up when there's an urgent need to print important documents. The toddler acted up at the grocery store, throwing a tantrum when his mother wouldn't buy him candy. Number three, grow up. Can you believe Jake is going to college this year? It's hard to believe. I remember when he was just a little kid. They grow up so fast, don't they? Yeah, they really do. Kids grow up so fast, don't they? To develop from a child to an adult. When I grow up, I want to be a firefighter to help people in emergencies. As children grow up, they experience significant physical and emotional changes. She always dreamed of traveling the world when she grew up. Number four, grow into. I remember when this jacket used to be too big for me. But now it fits you perfectly. I guess I finally grew into it. It's so comfortable now. Looks like it. I finally grew into my jacket. To become big or mature enough to fit something. 
The puppy was too small for the collar at first, but eventually grew into it. Despite being shy in her childhood, she grew into a confident and outgoing adult. As the business expanded, they hired more employees to help it grow into a successful company. Number five, stand out. Did you see that woman in the bright red dress? Yeah, she caught my eye immediately. Mine too. She really knows how to stand out. Definitely. You can't miss her in a crowd. The woman in red knows how to stand out. To be noticeable because of being different or better. Her vibrant red dress made her stand out in the crowd. The unique design of the building made it stand out in the city skyline. The candidate's impressive resume allowed him to stand out during the job interview. Number six, blend in. Do I look okay? I don't want to look out of place at the party. You look perfect. Your outfit is stylish yet subtle. That's a relief. I just want to blend in. Nothing too flashy. Trust me, you'll be just fine. <clears throat> I just want to blend in. Nothing too flashy. To look the same as surrounding people. When visiting a foreign country, try to dress like the locals to blend in with the culture. The new student found it challenging to blend in with the existing friend groups. The camouflage pattern on the soldier's uniform helped him blend in with the surroundings. Number seven, take after. Everyone says I have my mother's eyes. You do, it's easy to notice, they're the same. You really think so? I guess it's in the genes. It must be. You really take after her in a lot of ways. You take after your mother in a lot of ways. To resemble a parent or relative. She takes after her mother they both have a passion for cooking. The child takes after his father in terms of appearance, with the same blue eyes and blonde hair. He takes after his grandfather's artistic talent and has become a skilled painter. Number 8. Look up to I've always admired Professor Watson's work. You've often mentioned his influence on your research. Well, yeah, he's someone I really look up to. That's clear from the way you speak about him. I've always looked up to the professor to respect and admire someone. As a young athlete, he looked up to his favorite sports star for inspiration. 
The students look up to their teacher as a role model and mentor. While growing up, she always looked up to her older brother as her protector. Phrasal verbs for relationships. Number one, check out. Have you seen the new guy in the yoga class? No, why? He's gotten a lot of attention. I'll make sure to check him out next time. I'll check out the new guy. To observe or examine someone. I was checking her out. She's hot. Jane checked out the latest fashion trends online. They went to the car dealership to check out the new models. Number two, lead on. I'm so confused right now. Why? What's going on? Are you okay? I thought Jake liked me, but he's been distant lately. Sometimes it's hard to tell if someone's genuine or if they're just leading you on. Maybe he's just leading you on. To make someone believe something that isn't true. She was hurt when she realized he was just leading her on. It's not fair to lead someone on if you're not really interested. They thought they'd get a promotion, but their boss was leading them on. Number three, ask out. I think I've developed feelings for Jane. Really? That's unexpected. Do you think she's interested? Only one way to find out. Ask her out. Go ask out Jane. To invite someone on a date. He was nervous to ask her out after so many months. She waited for weeks for him to ask her out. Asking someone out can be scary, but it's worth the risk. Number four, take out. I really want to do something special for Lisa's birthday. How about a surprise dinner? That sounds great. You should take her out to her favorite restaurant. You should take Lisa out. To take someone on a date or special occasion. Dave decided to take his wife out to a fancy restaurant. He's been planning to take her out for a movie night. She wanted to take out her best friend for a surprise treat. Number five, turn down. Did you hear? Jake asked Tina to the dance. Really? What did she say? She said she had other plans. Oh, so she turned him down. 
she unfortunately turned him down to decline an offer or invitation. It's tough when your crush turns you down. She turned down the job offer in a different city. Many were surprised when he turned down the scholarship. Number six, go out with. The new rumor is that Leela and Alex are a thing now. Really? Since when? I'm not sure, but they've been seen together a lot. So they're going out with each other? They're going out with each other. To date someone. She used to go out with him back in college. I heard he's been going out with his colleague for a few months. They've been going out with each other since high school. Number seven, stand up. Jenny looked so sad yesterday evening. What happened? She was waiting for Mark for an hour at the cafe. Did he stand her up? He stood her up. To fail to meet someone as planned. She was stood up on her first date, and it broke her heart. She stood him up after searching for him on the internet. Being stood up is one of the worst feelings. Number eight, let down. Why is Rachel so upset with Alex? He promised he'd help her move, but he bailed at the last minute. Oh, so he let her down. Yeah, and it's not the first time either. He let her down. To disappoint someone, often by avoiding what was expected. She felt let down by her team when they didn't support her idea. He didn't want to let down his parents by declining the college offer. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Number nine, hit it off. Have you noticed Jake and Clara recently? Yeah, they met at the party last week, right? Yeah, and they've been inseparable ever since. Seems like they really hit it off. It seems like Jake and Clara hit it off. To immediately like and become friendly with someone. From the moment they met, the two hit it off. It's rare to hit it off with someone so quickly. They hit it off on their first date. Number 10, fall for. Sarah talks about Tom 
a lot these days. It's clear, isn't it? Do you think she's fallen for him? Definitely. She's crazy about him. She has definitely fallen for him. To become very attracted to someone or begin to love them. He fell for her the moment he saw her. I never expected to fall for someone so quickly. It's dangerous to fall for the wrong person. Number 11. Break up. Did you hear about Daniel and Maya? No. What happened? They decided to break up. That's terrible. Weren't they together for five years? They broke up after five years. To end a relationship. It's tough to break up after so many years together. They decided to break up, but remain friends. The band broke up after their last tour. Number 12. Makeup I saw Kevin and Lara at the movies yesterday. They were arguing. I heard about that. But don't worry, they made up right after it. That's good to hear. They made up after the argument. To forgive someone after a disagreement. After a long argument, they decided to make up and forget the past. After a month apart, they finally made up. You two have been fighting too much. Now kiss and make up. Number 13. Settle down. Tom and Sarah are getting serious. What's going on? They've decided to buy a house together. Wow, are they planning to settle down and maybe start a family soon? Are they planning to settle down and start a family? To start living a stable life. They bought a house and decided to settle down. After dating for several years, they decided to settle down and get married. Many people dream of traveling the world before they settle down. Number 14. Put up with. How does Anna handle her crazy boyfriend? I have no idea. I wouldn't be able to handle him. She really puts up with a lot. Yeah, she's very patient. It's amazing that she puts up with him. To tolerate an unpleasant person or situation. I can't put up with his constant complaining anymore. 
She puts up with a lot of stress at her job. It's difficult to put up with difficult people. Number 15. Drift apart. Have you noticed Jack and Lucy aren't as close as they used to be? Yeah, it's been happening over the years. I wonder why. People change. Sometimes they just drift apart. Sometimes people just drift apart. To slowly become less friendly with someone. Childhood friends often drift apart as they grow up. They used to be inseparable, but they drifted apart after college. Differences in opinion made them drift apart over the years. Number 16. Run off with. Did you hear about Jane? No. What happened? She ran off with her yoga instructor to Bali. You're kidding. She ran off with her yoga instructor. To leave a place or person secretly and suddenly. He ran off with all the money and left them in debt. She was tired of her day-to-day -day life and ran off with a musician. They ran off with the circus, searching for adventure. Number 17. Split Up Why were Sam and Julie looking so upset yesterday? Things aren't going so well in their relationship. Really? They've been together for so long. Honestly, I think they're going to split up. Sam and Julie are going to split up after 20 years to end a relationship or partnership. They decided to split up but continue their professional relationship. After dating for five years, they suddenly split up. The band decided to split up due to creative differences. Number 18. Move on. It's been a year since Jack and Rose broke up. It's been tough for Jack. I'm sure, but I heard he's using a dating app now. He's trying to meet new people. I guess he's decided to move on. Jack decided to move on from his last relationship. To accept that a situation has changed and be ready to deal with new experiences. After the project failed, she decided to move on to bigger challenges. He took a while, but he finally moved on from his dark past. It's hard, but it's always best to move on. Phrasal verbs for communication. Number one, turn to. I'm feeling really down today. What happened? 
Uh, just some issues at work. Remember, you can always turn to me. You can always turn to me. To seek help or advice from someone. She always turns to her sister for advice. If you have questions, turn to the manual. When in doubt, he would turn to his mentors. Number two, order around. Why does Jenny look so upset? I think she doesn't like her new manager. That doesn't sound good. It's not. She doesn't like to be ordered around. She doesn't like when people order her around. To command or dictate to someone, often aggressively. He doesn't like being ordered around by his older brother. She felt like she was ordered around all day at her new job. The new leader ordered everyone around without any respect. Number three, pass on. I've got some news from headquarters. What is it? They've made some new policy changes. Make sure you pass it on to the whole team. Pass it on to the team. To transmit or convey information. I'll pass on your message to him. She passed on the traditions to her children. They asked her to pass on the information immediately. Number four, turn down. I invited Mark to the party. What did he say? He said he's busy. So he turned it down? He turned down the invitation. To refuse or decline something. I had to turn down the job offer because it was in another city. She turned down the proposal because it didn't match her vision. They turned down the invitation because they already had plans. Number five, get through to. Does Jake understand the importance of the deadline? I've tried explaining it to him. And I just can't get through to him. I can't get through to him. To successfully communicate or make someone understand. I tried to explain, but I couldn't get through to him. She always knows how to get through to her students. Politicians have to find a unique way to get through to people. Number six. Get across. 
This concept is a bit complex. We need to explain it in our presentation. We have to simplify it. Yeah, it's really important that we get it across clearly. It's important to get the concept across, to successfully communicate or convey a message. She struggled to get her point across during the debate. The advertisement successfully got the message across. It's important to get across the main ideas. Number seven, reach out to. We need more sponsors for the event. Have you contacted any companies? Not yet. Maybe you should reach out to some local businesses. You should reach out to some local businesses to initiate communication or contact with someone. She reached out to her old friends for support. The organization reached out to potential donors. If you have any concerns, please reach out to us for help. Number eight follow up with. Did Tom complete the task? I'm not sure. Can you check? Sure, I'll follow up with him and let you know. I'll follow up with him to see to continue communication. I'll follow up with an email to confirm. She decided to follow up with the interviewer. We'll follow up with you after we know more details. Number nine, but in. I was having a conversation with Tina and Jake just started talking. That's so rude. Yeah, he always butts into conversations. That's how he is, typical. Jake always butts into conversations. To rudely interrupt a conversation or situation. It's rude to butt in when others are talking. She felt irritated when he kept butting in. I didn't mean to butt in, but I had an urgent message. Number 10. Cut off. I was trying to explain my side of the story. And? He just cut me off and didn't let me finish. That's so rude. He cut me off while I was talking to interrupt and stop someone from continuing. She was cut off in the middle of her speech. The connection was bad and we got cut off. 
I hate it when people cut me off in traffic. Phrasal verbs for socializing. Number one, come over. Are you doing anything this weekend? Not really, just relaxing at home. Do you mind if I come over? It's been a while since we saw each other. Sure, come at any time. It'll be great to see you. I'll come over on Saturday to visit someone at their house. She asked her friend to come over for a movie night. Why don't you come over after work tomorrow? They always come over for dinner on Sundays. Number two, pop in. I was in your neighborhood yesterday. Oh, really? Why didn't you call me? Sorry, I didn't have time to visit. Next time you're around, try to pop in for a coffee. Next time, pop in for a quick visit. To visit for a short time. He likes to pop in at the local bookstore during his lunch break. She popped in to say hello to her grandmother. Whenever he's in town, he pops in to see old friends. Number three, hang out. I'm bored. What are you up to? Just playing some video games. Want to come over? Sounds good. I'll be over in about 10 minutes. Great. Let's hang out and relax. Let's hang out at my place. To enjoy time with someone relaxing. The kids love to hang out at the mall on weekends. We used to hang out at the coffee shop in college. They're hanging out at the park today. Number four, catch up with. Have you seen Emma lately? Not since she changed jobs. Wow, that's a long time. She changed jobs a year ago. Yeah, I should probably send her a message and catch up with her. It's a good idea to catch up with old friends. To meet someone after a long time to learn what they have been doing. He caught up with his cousin at the family reunion. Let's catch up with each other over lunch. She's looking forward to catching up with her high school friends. Number five, stick around. Are you leaving after the meeting? I might stay and finish some work. I'll be here. Maybe we can grab dinner later. Sounds great. I'll stick around till then. I might stick around for a while. To stay in a place 
for a period of time. After the concert, they stuck around to meet the band. He decided to stick around after class to ask some questions. Most guests stuck around to help clean up after the party. Number 6. Call Up Have you spoken to Mike recently? No, not in a few weeks. He mentioned he was going through a tough time. I'll call him up tonight and check on him. I should call up Mike soon. To call someone. She called up her sister to chat about her day. Every Sunday, he calls up his parents to catch up with them. She was nervous, but decided to call up her boss for clarification. Number 7. Invite Out Do you have plans for Friday night? Nothing yet. Why? I was thinking of inviting you out to the new Italian restaurant. That sounds fantastic. I'd love to go. I invited her out for dinner. To ask someone to go somewhere with you. He invited his colleagues out for a team lunch. She was excited to be invited out for a movie. They invited us out for a weekend getaway. Number 8. Take Out Your brother seems down lately. Yeah, he's been stressed with work. Maybe you should take him out for a night of fun. That's a great idea. I'll try to take him out this weekend. Let's take out our friends for a fun evening. To take someone to a place like a restaurant, movie theater, or etc. He planned to take out his girlfriend for their anniversary. She took out her visiting relatives to show them the city. He took his mother out to a restaurant to celebrate her retirement. Number 9. Bring Along I'm heading to the beach tomorrow. Want to join? Sounds fun. I'd love to. Awesome. You can invite others if you want. I'll ask my cousin. I'm sure I could bring her along with us. You can bring along your cousin. To take someone or something with you when you go somewhere. Don't forget to bring along some snacks for the road trip. She decided to bring along her camera to capture the scenic views. Can I bring my friend along to the movies? Number 10. Tag Along We're going hiking this weekend. That sounds exciting. 
you should tag along with us. Thanks for the invite. I'd love to. I might tag along with them on the hike. To accompany someone, especially when not specifically invited. Her little brother wanted to tag along to the amusement park. He asked if he could tag along on their shopping trip. They let her tag along to the concert. Phrasal verbs for phone calls. Number one, call back. I missed a call from the office earlier. Did they leave a message? Yeah, they asked me to call back as soon as possible. You better do it before it gets too late. They asked me to call back. To return a phone call. I'll call back when I have more information. She couldn't answer, so she decided to call back later. He missed the call and had to call back to get the details. Number two, put through. Can you connect me to the manager's office? Sure, just give me a moment. Thank you. I've been trying to reach her all day. No problem. Putting you through now. I'll put you through right now. To connect someone to another phone line. The receptionist put me through to the right department. Can you put me through to customer service? He was put through to the CEO's office after a brief hold. Number three, cut off. Our conversation was incredible. We had such a connection. It was so enjoyable. So, what happened? We got cut off. I think the storm interfered with the connection. That's annoying. Did you try calling back? I was cut off suddenly. To have a phone call unexpectedly disconnected. Our call was cut off due to poor reception. She was explaining something to me when we got cut off. The important call was cut off just as he was about to agree. Number four, listen in. Excuse me. Do you think I could join this call? For what? Well, I think it could help me understand the project better. No problem then. I'll connect you so you can listen in. You can listen in on the call for more info. To quietly join a phone call to hear the conversation. The intern listened in on the call to learn. We had to listen in to get instructions from the boss.
they let me listen in on the conference call for experience. Number five, get back to. Did you hear the client's response? Not yet. I've been in meetings all morning. They left a message asking you to get back to them. I'll do it as soon as I have time. They left a message asking you to get back to them. To respond or reply to someone later. I'll get back to you with the details tomorrow. He said he'd get back to me once he had the information. She's busy now, but promised to get back to me by evening. Number six, call up. Do you remember our old classmate, David? Yeah, I haven't heard from him in years. I think I'll call him up this weekend. That's a great idea. I'm sure he'd love to hear from you. I think I'll call him up this weekend. To call someone. I need to call up my dentist for an appointment. She called up her friends to arrange a meetup. He often calls up his parents to check on them. Number seven, put on. Hi, is this Mrs. Smith? No, this is reception. Would you like to talk to her? Yes, please. I'll put her on right now. I'll put her on the phone for you. To give the phone call to someone so they can talk. Please, put her on the phone for me. Could you put him on for me? It's urgent. She put him on the phone so he could hear the news. Number eight, put on. The phone is ringing, but I'm so busy. I can't ignore my work. What are you going to do? I'll keep my hands free and put the call on speakerphone. Can I have some privacy? Sure, I'll get out of the room for the call. Why don't you put it on speakerphone? To switch a phone call to a different mode. She put the call on speakerphone so everyone could hear. We had to put our phones on vibrate during the movie. He put the call on speakerphone to share the news with the family. Number nine, hang up. That's a long phone call. What are you doing? This stupid company has me on hold. I've been on hold for an hour now. That's incredible. They're really wasting your time. You're telling me. I'm about to hang up. I have better things to do. I'm going to hang up. 
to end a phone call. After saying goodbye, she hung up the phone. He hung up abruptly when he heard the news. They hung up after two hours on the phone. Number 10. Call in. You don't look so good. Are you okay? I really feel awful. Maybe you should call in sick. I think you're right. I have a few sick days left. Work can wait. Maybe you should call in sick. To call a place with some news. She had to call in sick due to the flu. He rarely calls in sick, but today he felt horrible. After twisting her ankle, she called in sick for a few days. Phrasal verbs for compliments and criticisms. Number one, stand out. There were so many good projects in the competition. They were all amazing, but you know, I really liked yours. Thanks. I tried something different this time. It stood out more than the others. It was so unique. Yours really stood out in the competition. To be noticeably better or different. Her innovative approach made her project stand out among others. The vibrant colors of the artwork stood out in the gallery. His commitment to customer service made his store stand out. Number two, build up. Bob seems really nervous. It's normal to be like that. Cut him a break. It's his first day of work. I understand that. I'm not criticizing him. I'm just mentioning it. Make sure to stay positive around him. We should build up his confidence. He'll be more comfortable after he builds up his confidence. To develop, especially with time. He's been building up his confidence through practice. The company has built up a solid customer base over the years. She's been building up her skills to take on more challenging roles. Number three, talk up. I heard he was recommending me for the project. Of course, he told the team all about you. That's so kind. I should thank him. He was really talking you up. I think he admires your skills a lot. I talked up your skills to the team. To speak favorably about someone or something. The salesperson talked up the benefits of the product. He always talks up his abilities when applying for jobs. She was talking up the new restaurant as the best in town. Number four, mess up. 
Oh, I'm such an idiot. I can't do anything right. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't worry. But I feel terrible about it. It's my fault. Don't worry. We all mess up sometimes. I can't believe I messed up. To make a mistake or do something incorrectly. He messed up his lines during the play, but recovered quickly. She was upset that she messed up the recipe. They messed up the schedule, causing confusion. Number five, screw up. This project is my big chance. I can't make any mistakes. Just stay focused and do your best. I'm feeling a lot of pressure. I don't want to screw it up. Just ask for help if you think you need it. I can't screw up this project. To make a serious mistake. He was worried he'd screw up the presentation. She screwed up the booking and they missed their flight. The team screwed up the opportunity to win the game. Number six, pick on. Why are you always criticizing me in meetings? I didn't mean to be so aggressive. You're so focused on highlighting my mistakes sometimes. It's like you're picking on me. I'm sorry. I really respect you a lot. Why are you always picking on me? To criticize or tease someone repeatedly and unfairly. The older siblings had a habit of picking on the youngest. He felt his boss was picking on him, always pointing out his mistakes. She didn't like how her friends picked on her choice of clothes. Number seven, take out on. You seem upset. Is everything okay? I'm just stressed. I need to relax. Maybe take a break. You're taking it out on everyone in the office. Sorry, my bad. I think I'll go home early today. Sorry for taking it out on you. To unfairly make someone else suffer because of your own frustration. After a bad day at work, he took it out on his roommates. She was careful not to take out her frustration on her team. He realized he was taking his stress out on his family and apologized. Number eight, rub in. Oh, I can't believe I screwed up the presentation. It happens. Everyone makes mistakes. They've been rubbing it in all day. When does it stop? Just ignore them. You're better than them. Don't let others rub it in. To unnecessarily make someone aware of failure. I know I messed up. Please don't rub it in.
after getting the promotion, she didn't want to rub it in her co-worker's face. They lost the game, and the other team wouldn't stop rubbing it in. Number 9. Shoot Down I suggested a new marketing strategy to the boss. What did she say? Did she approve it? Absolutely not. She shot it down so fast I couldn't believe it. I guess she has her own plans. Well, that's why she's the boss. She makes the big decisions. My idea was immediately shot down. To reject or dismiss something abruptly or harshly. His proposal was shot down during the meeting. She was disappointed when her idea was shot down by her colleagues. Every time he brings up an idea, it gets shot down. Number 10. Tear Apart I never want to submit another paper again. Why? How was the feedback? He absolutely tore it apart. I don't even want to write anymore. Wow, that's harsh. But everyone has their own writing style. Don't let it get you down. My draft got torn apart by the editor. To criticize something very harshly. The critic tore apart the new movie in his review. She was upset when her design concept was torn apart. The committee tore apart his proposal, citing many flaws. Phrasal verbs for emotions. Number one, cheer up. How are you feeling after your recent breakup? Just so-so. Thanks for asking. How about I treat you to some ice cream? Would that cheer you up? Of course. I love ice cream. Some ice cream would cheer you up. To become happier or to make someone happier. Seeing her friends after a long week always manages to cheer her up. The teacher brought in cookies to cheer up the students. He played a fun song to cheer up his kids. Number two, break down. The movie we watched yesterday was so emotional. Yeah, it was especially sad at the end. I was trying my best not to break down in the theater. I think everyone there felt the same. I was trying not to break down in the theater. To lose control of one's emotions, becoming sad. After holding in her feelings for so long, she finally broke down and started crying. When he heard the news, he broke down in tears. It's completely natural to break down and express your emotions. Number three, freak out. I heard the announcement for the concert. 
Yeah, the tickets are on sale right now. I almost freaked out when I heard that. I've been waiting for years. We have to clear our schedules for that day. I almost freaked out when I heard. To become very excited or upset. He freaked out when he realized he lost his passport. She freaked out when she saw the spider on the wall. The team freaked out when they missed the deadline. Number four, calm down. Have you heard about the storm that's coming tonight? Yeah, I'm worried about it. Don't worry, we prepared for this. You're right. Let's calm down and make sure everything is in place. Let's calm down and prepare for the storm. To become calm or make someone calm. After an intense discussion, they calmed down over coffee. I usually listen to soft music to calm down after a stressful day. The teacher asked the students to calm down and focus. Number five, hold back. I saw the artwork at the new exhibit in the gallery. Did you like it? It was so moving. I couldn't hold back my tears. I started crying on the spot. Art can be a powerful thing. I couldn't hold back my tears at the gallery. To resist expressing one's emotions. She had to hold back her tears during the emotional farewell. He couldn't hold back his laughter when he saw the hilarious video. She had to hold back her anger when she was insulted. Number six, let go. There are some old clothes in my closet. Have you thought about donating them? Yeah, but I still love them. It's hard to let go. That's understandable, but giving them to someone who needs them can really help. It's hard to let go of old things. To release oneself from emotions or attachments. She finally decided to let go of her past mistakes and start over. He had to let go of his fear. It was difficult for her to let go of her childhood home. Number seven, warm up. Have you tried the new yoga class in the park? No, I haven't. Is it beginner friendly? Absolutely. The instructor is great and you'll warm up to it quickly. Sounds like a good way to start my fitness journey. You'll warm up to the yoga class quickly. To begin to feel more friendly or enthusiastic. 
It took him a while to warm up to the idea of moving to a new city. She warmed up to the new design after a while. The cat was initially cautious, but it warmed up to its new owner. Number eight, open up. How can I deal with my feelings of isolation? The first step is to be honest about your problems. I'll try that. It's just hard to open up when I feel like an introvert. Just remember, there's no right or wrong way to express your feelings. Try to open up about your problems. To start talking about one's feelings. It's important to open up about your feelings. He found it easier to open up about his personal life to his therapist. The shy student slowly opened up and participated. Number nine, bottle up. You've been really quiet lately. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just a lot on my mind. It's not good to bottle up your feelings. Maybe we should talk about it. I guess I've been avoiding some things. It's not good to bottle up your feelings. To hide one's emotions instead of expressing them. She bottled up her frustration before finally speaking out. Bottling up his feelings only made things worse over time. He learned that bottling up anger could lead to more stress. Number 10, melt down. Did you hear about Sarah's reaction to the project feedback? No, what happened? She completely melted down. It was overwhelming for her. That's tough. We should offer our support. She completely melted down after receiving the feedback. To have an emotional collapse. The pressure of the final exams caused some students to melt down. After the long, stressful week, he melted down. When her computer crashed, she completely melted down. Phrasal verbs for conflicts. Number one, stick up for. I heard you had a problem at work. Yeah, it was pretty rough. What happened? Well, my boss was accusing me of something which wasn't my fault. Luckily, my coworker stuck up for me. My coworker stuck up for me at work. To support or defend someone. She always sticks up for her friends when they're in trouble. It's important to stick up for your friends when they need you. He stuck up for his team during the meeting. Number two, get to. 
My boss always accuses me of things I didn't do. You shouldn't let it affect you so much. I try not to, but it's hard. If it's getting to you so much, maybe go to HR and tell them about it. His attitude is starting to get to me. To begin to affect or annoy someone. The pressure of the project is really getting to the team. His negative attitude is starting to get to his co-workers. The long hours were getting to her, so she changed her job. Number 3. Put Down Why do you look so upset? It's the way my boss treats me. What do you mean? My day usually starts off really well, but the moment I make a small mistake, he puts me down. My boss always puts me down in front of the team. To criticize. To make someone feel insignificant. He was put down by his peers for his unconventional ideas. She felt demoralized after being put down in the meeting. Being put down constantly can affect someone's self-esteem. Number 4. Stick Together Remember, this month, our department is going to face some challenges. But it's also important to remember we're a team. That's right. Unity is our strength. We can do anything if we work hard. If we stick together and support each other, anything is possible. We need to stick together to overcome challenges. To stay united and supportive of each other. The siblings stuck together during their family crisis. In times of conflict, it's important to stick together. They stuck together and faced the opposition. Number 5. Hold Against Kathy is so upset with me. It's getting me down. Why is she upset? What happened? Well, I made a mistake, and I really hurt her feelings. But I thought she got over it and we were friends again. I guess not. If she continues to hold it against you, she must be hurt. I'll talk to her for you. She's holding it against me. I wish she would let it go. To continue to blame someone for past actions. She doesn't hold anything against her former rival. He held the mistake against his coworker for months. I know I missed the report last week. Please don't hold it against me. Number 6. Back up. I'm going to complain about the way the boss treats me. I've had enough. You should. It's completely unacceptable. Thanks for the support. Absolutely. You're a great worker. 
I'll back you up if you need me to. I'll back you up if you want me to. To support someone or something, often with evidence. She backed up her argument with facts and statistics. The team needed data to back up their project proposal. If you want to tell the boss what happened, I'll back you up. Number seven, stay out of. They're arguing again. I can't stand when they do that. What's wrong with them? I have no idea. I try my best to stay out of it. Smart move. I prefer to stay out of office drama. To avoid becoming involved in a situation. He chooses to stay out of office politics. It's wise to stay out of conflicts that don't concern you. She stayed out of the argument between her colleagues. Number eight, back down. Did you hear about the big argument he had with his wife? I did. He really wanted to prove that he was right. I think she was upset. He didn't really listen to her perspective. Well, that's why he backed down and apologized. She ended up being right about everything. He backed down and apologized. To admit that someone is wrong or mistaken. After reviewing the evidence, he decided to back down from his argument. She had the humility to back down when she realized her mistake. It takes courage to back down and admit you're wrong in a dispute. Number nine, give in. Is the strike still going on? I heard they stopped striking last week. What happened? The employees gave in to the company's demands and accepted the terms. I decided to give in and accept the terms. To surrender in a disagreement. After a lengthy debate, he gave in to their requests. She gave in to the pressure and agreed to their proposal. After the long argument, he gave in to what she wanted. Number 10, back out of. Are you still collaborating with the other department? Not anymore. Wow, what went wrong? They completely backed out of our agreement. They backed out of the agreement. To withdraw from a commitment or activity. The investor backed out of the deal at the last minute. She decided to back out of the event due to personal reasons. The company had to back out of the partnership 
due to financial reasons. Phrasal verbs for decisions. Number one, sleep on. I'm not sure if I should take that job offer. Why not? I'm torn. It's a great opportunity, but I like where I am now. Sometimes it's best to sleep on it before deciding. It's best to sleep on it before deciding. To take time overnight to think about something before deciding. Before accepting the job offer, he decided to sleep on it for a night. She told her friend to sleep on the idea before making any decisions. Let's sleep on it and discuss the project details tomorrow morning. Number two, run by. I have an idea for our summer trip. Really? What is it? I thought we could do a road trip to the coast. Sounds interesting. Run it by the others and see what they think. Run it by the others and see what they think. To check with someone for their opinion. Before finalizing the design, I'll run it by the team. She wanted to run the wedding plans by her family first. Before we finalize the deal, we should run it by our legal department. Number three, plan ahead. The concert tickets are sold out. Oh no, when did you check? Just now. You have to plan ahead for events like these. You have to plan ahead for big events. To prepare for future events or situations. If you want to secure a spot, you'll need to plan ahead. To avoid traffic, we need to plan ahead and leave early. Companies that plan ahead are better prepared during economic downturns. Number four, think ahead. I packed some snacks and games for the trip. Good thinking. That's a great idea. I figured the kids might get bored. It's always good to think ahead. It's always good to think ahead when planning a trip. To prepare for future needs or problems. She always thinks ahead and brings whatever is needed. If you think ahead, you can anticipate problems and solve them in advance. He advised her to think ahead before making any life-changing decisions. Number five, think over. Would you like to volunteer for the event? 
I don't know. It's tempting. It's just a weekend. You should do it. Let me think it over and I'll get back to you. Let me think it over before deciding. To consider something carefully. Give me some time to think over your proposal. She asked for a day to think over the job offer. She encouraged her partner to think it over carefully before adopting another pet. Number six, lean towards. Which college are you considering? Well, I have a few options. Do you have a favorite? Not exactly, but I'm leaning towards the one in New York. I'm leaning towards the college in New York. To have a preference for one option over others. After trying all the flavors, I'm leaning towards the mint. She's leaning towards taking the job in the new city. They're leaning towards the beach resort for their honeymoon. Number seven, hold off. Should we start the barbecue now? The weather looks a bit unpredictable. True, it might rain. Let's hold off for a bit and see. Let's hold off before starting the barbecue. To delay something, often before deciding. We decided to hold off on buying a new car until next year. The company chose to hold off on launching the new product due to market uncertainty. They decided to hold off on the wedding until they were more financially stable. Number eight, go for. Two choices for dessert, pie or cake. Oh, that's a tough one. You know both are delicious. I think I'll go for the pie. I'll go for the pie this time, not the cake. To choose something. With so many options, I decided to go for the classic design. After a lot of thought, they decided to go for the larger apartment. They decided to go for the discount while it was still available. Number nine, come down to. I don't know, both job offers seem great. Yeah, but one pays more but the other one has better perks. In the end, it'll come down to what you value more. It'll come down to your values. To be the final consideration before deciding. 
it comes down to quality over quantity. It comes down to what you want more, money or security. Our decision to go on the trip comes down to the weather forecast. Number 10, rule out. I've been thinking of ideas for our new marketing campaign. Great, what do you have? I was thinking about focusing on social media influencers or creating a viral challenge. Mm, both ideas have potential. Let's not rule out collaborating with established brands as well. Let's not rule out collaborating with brands. It's another good option. To eliminate or exclude something as a possibility. Given the symptoms, the doctor ruled out an infection. She didn't rule out the possibility of going back to school in the future. They had to rule out the more expensive options due to budget concerns. Phrasal verbs for information. Number one, find out. I heard there's a new cafe in town. I heard about it. They say the coffee is great. We should go. Yeah. What are their hours? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Let's find out if they're open. To learn new information. I was shocked to find out the truth. She'll find out the details and let us know. You can find out more by visiting their website. Number two, check up on. How's Jenny after her surgery? I'm not sure. I haven't talked to her lately. Maybe give her a call? Good idea. I should check up on her. You should check up on Jenny. To see if someone is okay. My mom always checks up on me when I'm out late. It's important to check up on your family frequently. The doctor checks up on his patients after surgery. Number three, track down. I can't find the book I need. Which one? The one on ancient civilizations. Let's visit a few more bookstores. We'll track it down. We'll track your book down eventually. To search for and locate. It took me weeks to track down that rare vinyl for my collection. The detective was able to track down the missing painting. She tracked down the author to get a signed copy. Number four, look into. 
There's been a drop in our sales this month. That's odd. Do you know the reason? No, but I'm concerned. We should definitely look into it. We should look into the drop in sales. To investigate or examine something. The detective promised to look into the situation. The committee will look into the allegations. She looked into alternative therapies for her condition. Number five, look up. I found a new phrasal verb while reading. What's the verb? Fade away. Never heard of it. Let's look it up. Let's look up the definition. To search for information, especially in a book or online. Whenever I don't know a word, I look it up. He looked up the recipe online. She looked up the hotel's reviews before booking. Number six, dig up. We need more data for this project. What kind of data? Historical sales figures. Give me a day. I'll dig it up. I'll dig up all the information I can find. To uncover or get information, usually a lot of information with a lot of effort. The journalist managed to dig up some old records. He tried to dig up information on his ancestors. The politician dug up a lot of dirty information on his political rivals. Number seven, turn to someone. I'm struggling with this assignment. Have you asked anyone for help? Not yet. I'm not sure who. You can always turn to Mr. Jacobs. He's great with this topic. You can always turn to Mr. Jacobs for help to seek help or advice from someone. Whenever I'm in doubt, I turn to my mentor. She didn't know who to turn to after the incident. When things got tough, he turned to his family for support. Number eight. Point out. This report seems flawless. Actually, there's a small mistake on page five. Oh, I missed that one. Where is it? Let me point it out for you. Let me point it out to you to indicate something. She was quick to point out the error in the calculation. During the tour, the guide pointed out historical landmarks. 
it was kind of him to point out the right direction. Number 9. Match up. These files are all mixed up. Let's arrange them by date. That would help. Then everything will match up perfectly. Everything will match up perfectly after we arrange things to align or pair properly. The conflicting stories didn't match up. The data didn't match up with the predictions. The patterns on the fabrics match up beautifully. Number 10. Slip out. Did you tell Jake about the surprise? No, but I think Sarah did. She was supposed to keep it a secret. It must have slipped out unintentionally. It must have slipped out by accident to accidentally reveal information. The news about the company slipped out during the meeting. He let the surprise slip out during their conversation. She didn't mean to, but the truth just slipped out. Number 11. Pass on. Did you get the message from the manager? No. What was it? It was about the meeting tomorrow. Oh, please pass it on to me. Please pass the message on to me to transmit or convey information. I'll pass on the details to the team. She passed on the news as soon as she heard. Please pass on my regards to your family. Number 12. Fill in. I missed yesterday's class. There were some important announcements. Can you update me? Sure. I'll fill you in during lunch. I'll fill you in on the details during lunch to provide someone with missing or additional information. She filled me in on the latest office gossip. I was out for a week, so I needed someone to fill me in. After the meeting, he filled in his colleagues. Number 13. Pick up on. The movie was great, but did you notice the plot hole? No. What was it? It was subtle and hard to find. I usually pick up on those, but I missed it this time. I usually pick up on inconsistencies in movies. To notice or detect something. 
He's quick to pick up on mistakes. She picked up on the tension in the room immediately. I didn't pick up on the hint he dropped. Number 14. Come across. I was going through my old photos, and guess what? What did you find? A picture from our first trip together. I love to come across memories like that. I love to come across unexpected things. To find or encounter something, especially by chance. I came across a vintage store while wandering the city. She came across an old letter from her grandfather. During his research, he came across a rare artifact. Number 15. Break down. This report is too complicated. Which part? All these numbers and statistics. Let me break it down for you. It's not as complex as you think. I'll break it down for you. It's easier than you think. To explain or simplify complex information into understandable parts. He broke down the concept so everyone could understand. The teacher broke down the formula step by step. The college professor broke down the math problem into lots of steps. Number 16. Sum up. Can you explain the novel quickly? It's a really long story. There are a lot of moving parts. Are you sure? Well, just the main points. All right, let me sum it up for you. Let me sum up the main points for you. To give a complete description of something. To summarize. Her homework was to sum up the book in a few short paragraphs. She summed up her argument in a few sentences. The article summed up the events of the year. Number 17. Bring up. We need to discuss the new proposal. When should we do it? In tomorrow's meeting. I'll make sure to bring it up. I'll bring up the new proposal in the meeting. To introduce a topic or issue for discussion. She brought up a valid point during the discussion. I didn't want to bring up his past mistakes. They promised to bring up our concerns during the event. Number 18. Sort out. These documents are all over the place. 
We need to categorize them. It's going to take a while. Don't worry, we'll sort them out. We'll sort out the documents. To organize or arrange something. He took a day off to sort out his finances. The team gathered to sort out the project's challenges. She needed some time alone to sort out her thoughts. Phrasal verbs for secrets. Number one, let out. Did you hear about the party? Yeah, it's for Lucy. It's a surprise. They told me last week. Oh no, you're not supposed to know. Who let out the secret? Mike was the one who told me. Don't let out the secret about the party. To accidentally or intentionally reveal confidential information. She didn't mean to, but she let out a secret about the upcoming merger. The celebrity's assistant accidentally let out a secret about the new album. The cousins let out a secret they had kept for years. Number two, give away. Why does everyone know about the new policy? We think the word got out at yesterday's meeting. That was supposed to be confidential. They think that Mark was the one who gave away the secrets. Be careful not to give away information on the project. To give details, typically unintentionally. The CEO accidentally gave away information about future plans. She gave away information about the product launch while on the phone. She accidentally gave away the surprise party when she mentioned the decorations to the birthday girl. Number three, cover up. Did you read the latest news about the mayor? Yeah, apparently it's a big scandal. It might affect his re-election. They're trying to cover it up, but the truth will come out. They tried to cover up the scandal, but the truth came out. To hide the truth about a situation, usually negative. The government covered up the environmental damage caused by the accident. The corporation spent millions trying to cover up their environmental mistakes. Rumors spread about the athlete's attempt to cover up a doping scandal. Number four, keep from. I bought Sam a birthday present. Oh, what is it? I can't tell you. I've been keeping it a secret from everyone. Fair enough. My lips are sealed. He kept the birthday plans a secret from her. 
to intentionally hold something from someone. It was hard for her to keep the surprise trip a secret from her family. The team kept the project details a secret from competitors. Parents often keep sweets from their children. Number five, slip out. Did you tell Jane about the office party? No, but I think it slipped out when I was talking to Tom. You need to be more careful. I know. I didn't mean to. Be careful about what might slip out during conversations. To unintentionally mention or reveal something. She didn't realize it, but the name of the surprise guest slipped out. During a heated argument, the truth about his life slipped out. Details about the confidential meeting slipped out during a casual lunch. Number six, spy on. Have you noticed the man who always sits at that park bench? Yeah, he's there every day watching people. Do you think he's spying on someone? Could be. It's pretty suspicious if you ask me. I don't like it when someone tries to spy on our conversations. To secretly watch someone without their knowledge. The jealous boyfriend tried to spy on his girlfriend's messages. Some parents use technology to spy on their children's online activities. During the Cold War, many different countries spied on each other. Number seven, open up to. I've been feeling really stressed lately. What's wrong? Well, it's just been tough balancing work and personal life. If you want to open up, remember, I'm here to listen. She finally opened up to her best friend about her issues to share personal feelings or information with someone. After years, he opened up to his family about his struggles with addiction. It took time, but she eventually opened up to her therapist about her fears. The detective managed to get the suspect to open up and confess to the crime. Number eight, own up to. I heard that his mistake cost the company a lot of money. It's true, we're really struggling because of it right now. At least he owned up to it and took responsibility. It's true, it's good to be honest, but there are consequences. You need to own up to your mistakes. To admit or confess to doing something, or admit responsibility. It's hard to own up to our mistakes, but it's essential for personal growth.
after being caught cheating on the test, he had to own up to his actions. They need to own up to the fact that they underestimated the challenges. Number 9. Play Down The situation seems bad. Is it really as bad as they say? The company is trying to play it down, but yes, it's concerning. We should be prepared then. Definitely. They tried to play down the impact of their financial loss. To minimize the importance or severity of something. She played down her role in the project, but she was very important. The manager played down the severity of the losses to keep the team motivated. To avoid panic, the captain played down the ship's technical issue. Number 10. Shut up! And then she said, Shut up! Here she comes! Oh no, I hope she didn't hear us. Let's change the topic. Shut up if you can't keep someone's secrets. To demand someone to stop speaking. Whenever there's gossip, he always tells everyone to shut up. Shut up! she exclaimed, cutting the man off. The courtroom got silent when the judge told a noisy man to shut up. Phrasal verbs for exclamations. Number one, lighten up. What's wrong? Just a lot on my mind right now. Life is too short to be stressed. Lighten up. Maybe you're right. I guess it's not so serious. I should lighten up. It's not serious. To become more relaxed or less serious. She needs to lighten up and have some fun. Lighten up. It was just a joke. I wish he'd lighten up and see the brighter side of things. Number two, hang on. Aren't you late for work? Yeah, I'm leaving now. Hang on, you forgot your keys. Oh, can't leave home without those. Hang on. You forgot your keys. To wait or hold on for a moment. Hang on. I think I found what you're looking for. I asked him to hang on while I grabbed my coat. Hang on. I'm almost done here. Number three, spit it out. I'm still waiting for your answer. It's hard to explain. I don't know how to explain it. Just spit it out. I don't have all day. All right, all right. I'll tell you. 
Just spit it out and tell me how you feel. To say something quickly, especially after hesitating. Spit it out. We don't have all day. If you have something to say, spit it out. She was so anxious, it took her forever to spit it out. Number four, come on. I don't think I can complete it on time. Have confidence in yourself. Oh, it's really tough. Come on. I believe in you. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. An expression of encouragement or disbelief. Come on. I know you have it in you. The event is canceled? You've got to be kidding. Come on. He cheered. Come on. You're almost there. Number five. Hurry up. We're going to miss the bus. I just need two minutes. Hurry up or we'll be late. Okay, okay. I'm coming. Hurry up or we'll be late. To do something more quickly. Hurry up. The movie's starting. I told them to hurry up with our order. If you hurry up, you can win the competition. Number six, watch out. You should really put your phone down. But have you seen the news about the iPhone 15? Watch out! You're going to step in poop! Oh no! My shoes are ruined! Watch out! You're going to step in poop! To be cautious or aware of one's surroundings. Watch out! The floor is wet. You need to watch out for pickpockets here. I shouted, watch out, as the car almost hit the person. Number seven, heads up. I got the ball. I'm going to try to score. There's another player running towards you. What? I didn't hear you. Heads up. He's going to take the ball. Heads up. Pay attention. To be aware by lifting your head. Keep your head up while playing contact sports. Heads up, the meeting is starting earlier than expected. Heads up, everyone. The weather is starting to get bad. Number eight, look out. I love walking around after it snows. It's so beautiful to look at. Look out for that ice. You can fall. 
Oh, thanks. That was a close one. Look out! There's ice! To be cautious or aware of potential danger. Look out! That dog doesn't seem friendly. He shouted, Look out! as the tree fell. Look out! That car is coming really fast! Number 9. Keep it up. Your performance this month has been impressive. Thanks. I've been trying really hard. If you keep it up, you might get that promotion. That's the plan. Thanks for the encouragement. Keep it up and get that promotion. To continue performing or behaving in a good way. If you keep it up, you'll master the instrument in no time. You're doing well in school. Keep it up and you can have a present. Keep it up. We're almost to our goal. Number 10. Back off. Are you going to vote for Trump or Biden? Who are you? That's my business, not yours. Come on. I think I know who you voted for. Just tell me. Back off. It's none of your business. Back off. It's none of your business. To retreat or stop bothering someone. He told them to back off when they got too close. The celebrity told the paparazzi to back off. Listen, I don't have what you want. Back off or I'll call the cops. Number 11. Listen up. Everyone, we have an important announcement to make. Oh? What's it about? We'll tell you, but first, listen up. This concerns everyone. All right, we're all ears. Listen up. This is important for everyone. To pay attention and listen for something important. Listen up, class. We have a change in today's schedule. When the coach said, listen up, the entire team stopped talking. Listen up, guys. I have some great news. Number 12, move along. Why is everyone gathered here? There was an accident on the road. Someone got hurt. Oh no, that's terrible news. What happened? Well, we don't know exactly. We tried to find out, but the officer told us to move along. The officer told us to move along. To continue from a place. Move along. Nothing to see here. She told the crowd to move along. Move along. Keep it going. We need to get out of here. 
Number 13. Get out. Is that the fire alarm? Yeah, it's not a drill this time. It's real. We need to get our emergency bags. No time. Just get out of the building now. There's no time. Get out. To urgently leave a place. There's a gas leak. Everyone, get out. Stop playing. Get out of the room. We have to go. Can you get out of the bathroom, please? You've been in there for 20 minutes. Number 14. Stay away. That dog seems really aggressive. I think so, too. Let's not make him mad. Just stay away from him and we'll be fine. That one over there looks cuter. Let's go pet him. Stay away from dangerous animals. To avoid or keep a distance from something or someone. He was told to stay away from the restricted area. Stay away from negative influences. They warned us to stay away from the dangerous plants. Number 15. Stay put. I want to leave the yard, but the dog is here. You can just open the gate. Don't worry. Do you think he would run out? No, he's a good boy. Max, stay put. The dog will stay put while you leave. To remain in one place or position. Everyone, stay put. I'll be right back. I know you're excited to go, but just stay put until I get back. They told the adventurers to stay put until help arrived. Number 16. Chill out. Why is everyone so stressed? I don't know. Don't ask me. Wow, chill out. I was just wondering. I don't have the answer. I didn't mean to offend you. Chill out. To relax or calm down. Chill out. Everything will be fine. After a crazy day, he just wanted to chill out. She told him to chill out and not overreact. Number 17. Ease up. You're pushing yourself too hard. I just want to get it right. I know, but you need to ease up a bit. Maybe you're right. Ease up on the exercise. You can get hurt. To reduce intensity or effort. Ease up. You can hurt yourself if you do too much. The rain began to ease up after a while. 
he decided to ease up on his strict diet. Number 18. Shut up. Now I have another conspiracy theory to tell you. You've been talking non-stop. People need to know about what's really happening. I get it, but sometimes you need to just shut up. I get it, but man, just shut up. To command someone to stop talking. She told him to shut up when he made a comment about her dress. Sometimes it's better to just shut up and keep your opinions to yourself. Shut up and kiss me. Phrasal verbs for exclamations, part two. Number one, push through. This project is so challenging. I know, but we're close to the end. Do you think we can finish it on time? We just have to push through. We have to push through and meet the deadline. To continue despite difficulties. Even though he was tired, he pushed through the marathon. They pushed through the obstacles to achieve success. Keep pushing through. You can do anything. Number two, move over. This couch is so comfy. Is it? I'd love to sit down. I don't think there's enough space for both of us. Of course there is. Just move over. Can you move over so I can sit? To move, to make space. When the bus got crowded, she asked the man to move over. He moved over to let the elderly man sit. Move over, please. You're crowding me. Number three, clear out. Why is the office so empty? They're going to start renovations. Wow, so soon? Yeah, they asked everyone to clear out this morning. Everyone had to clear out for the renovations. To leave or empty a place. The teacher asked the students to clear out the classroom. They cleared out the old warehouse to make room for new stock. The event finished and people began to clear out. Number four, dig in. This looks delicious. It's grandma's special recipe. I can't wait another minute. Go ahead, dig in. Let's dig in while the food is hot to begin eating with excitement. On Thanksgiving, 
everyone couldn't wait to dig in. When the pizza arrived, they all dug in. She cooked all day, and at dinner time, we just dug in. Number five, keep out. Why is that room locked? It's under construction right now. Oh, I didn't see the keep out sign on the door. Yep, it's there for your safety. Keep out of the restricted areas to prevent entry. The new lab is off limits, so students must keep out. They fenced the area to keep out unwanted visitors. Keep out of the kitchen while I'm cooking. Number six, keep off. Can I walk on the grass? Not yet. They just finished landscaping. Oh, now I see the sign. It says keep off for a reason. Keep off the grass to prevent from walking on something. They asked the visitors to keep off the ancient ruins. Keep off the new carpet with those dirty shoes. Keep off the grass. This is a restricted area. Number seven, turn around. Oh no, I can't find my wallet. I see it. It's on the ground. Really? Where? Turn around. It's behind you. Turn around. You dropped your wallet. To rotate your body or head. Or reverse direction. She heard her name and turned around. When he realized he forgot his phone, he turned around. The business turned around under the new management. Number eight, shake it off. That was a nasty fall during the game. Yeah, but I'm okay now. It must have hurt. A bit, but I shook it off and kept playing. He fell down and it hurt, but he shook it off. To recover from or dismiss a negative experience. Athletes get injured all the time, but some can shake it off and keep going. She got a poor review, but shook it off and improved. Shake it off. You can do it. Keep going. Number nine, look away. I can't believe they're showing that scene in a public place. Just look away if it makes you uncomfortable. I think I will. I can't stand it. I'll let you know when it's over. I had to look away from the disgusting scene in the movie. 
to look in another direction, often because something is intolerable. Look away. You're not old enough to see this yet. She looked away during the medical procedure. He looked away when she started crying, giving her a moment of privacy. Number 10. Buckle up. The roller coaster is about to start. I'm so nervous. I don't know if I'm ready. Well, buckle up because here we go. Get me off of this thing. Buckle up for the ride of a lifetime. To fasten your seatbelt or get ready for something exciting. Buckle up, the next episode is going to be crazy. Buckle up, the plane is about to take off. Every time they get in the car, their dad reminds them to buckle up. Phrasal verbs for location. Number one, pick up. Can you get some groceries from the store later? Sure, no problem. Just send me the list. I'll text it to you right away. Great. I'll pick everything up on my way back from work. I'll pick up some groceries from the store. To go to a place and get something or someone. I need to pick up my dry cleaning on the way home. Can you pick up some milk from the store? She picked up a few books from the library for her research. Number two, drop off. I need to take this package to the post office. Do you want me to do it for you? I'm heading that way. That would be great. Thank you. No problem. I'll drop it off for you. I'll drop off the package at the post office to take something or someone to a place and leave it there. He dropped off the kids at school before going to work. I have to drop off my library books today. Can you drop these returns off at the Amazon store? Number three. Look around. This museum is huge. Yeah, let's take our time to explore. There's so much to see. This exhibition looks interesting. Let's start here and then look around for more cool stuff. Let's look around for more cool stuff. To explore or inspect a place or area. They spent the afternoon looking around the city. Can I look around your store? I want to look around the area before deciding on the house to buy. Number four, settle down. 
I think I'm ready to stay in this town. That's a big decision. Are you sure? Yeah, I've been moving around a lot, but I think it's time to settle down. It's an important decision if you want to start a family. I'll settle down here and start a family. To establish a permanent residence. After years of traveling, he decided to settle down in Spain. They settled down in a small town after their wedding. I'm not ready to settle down yet. Number 5. Drop by. If you have some time later, you should come see my new house. I'd love that so much. I've been waiting a long time. Great. I'll prepare some snacks. I'll drop by around noon, if that's okay. You should drop by and see my new house. To visit someone's house or another place for a short time. She said she might drop by later. Why don't you drop by for a coffee sometime? He decided to drop by the office unannounced. Number 6. Show up. Oh, wow. I didn't expect you to be here. Well, I wanted to see you. That's so great. I'm so glad you showed up. It wouldn't be a party without you. I'm glad I came. I didn't expect you to show up. To come to a place, especially unexpectedly or in a way that's not planned. He showed up at the wedding uninvited. They didn't think she'd show up to the party. If you show up late again, you're going to be in trouble. Number 7. Come over. What time are you free? Probably around 7, but I'll let you know. Perfect. Then you can come over around 8. Sound good? Sure. I can be there around 8 or 9. I can come over around 8 or 9. To come to the location where the speaker is. Why don't you come over after work? We're having a barbecue this weekend. You should come over. If you're ever in the area, come over. Number 8. Stay over. It's getting late. Do you want to drive home or stay here? That's very kind of you, but I don't want to impose. It's no trouble at all. We have a guest room. In that case, I'd love to stay over. Do you want to stay over? To spend the night at someone's house. I'm too tired to drive home. Can I stay over? 
He stayed over after the party. My sister's coming to stay over for the weekend. Phrasal verbs for events. Number one, sell out. Have you gotten your tickets for the concert? No, I planned to buy them tomorrow. You might want to hurry. Why? Is it about to sell out? I hope the event isn't sold out. All items or tickets are sold. The play was so popular, it sold out within hours. The artist's concert tickets are expected to sell out within minutes. Unfortunately, the bakery sold out of my favorite pastries by the time I arrived. Number two, line up. Can you believe it? The world's best festival is coming here. Wow, that's going to be exciting. Can we get tickets? Not yet, but when they announce tickets for sale, people will be lining up. I know I'll be one of them. I'll be lining up to buy those tickets. To create a line or queue for something. The teacher asked the children to line up before entering the classroom. Fans began to line up hours before the movie premiere. The planets will line up in a rare celestial event tonight. Number three, pour in. Have you seen the response to our charity event? Last I checked, there were a hundred donors. Now there are thousands. The support is incredible. That's great news. Donations must be pouring in. The money is pouring in to come or arrive continuously in large numbers. After the job posting, applications started pouring in. As the gates opened, the fans poured in to find their seats. Condolences poured in from around the world after the tragic event. Number four, turn out. Did a lot of people attend the community meeting? Well, I expected around 50. And? More than a hundred turned out. More than a hundred people turned out for the event. The number of people who attend an event. Hundreds of supporters turned out for the protest. Many students turned out to watch the school's basketball game. More people turned out for the concert than expected. Number five, kick off. Are you ready for the concert? Yeah. 
I've been waiting for it for months. Do you know who the opening act will be? I'm not sure, but I hope it kicks off with someone good. I hope the event kicks off with a good band. To begin or start, especially for events. The festival will kick off with a grand parade. The league will kick off its season with a match between the top two teams. They kicked off the meeting with a review of last month's progress. Number six, put on. The theater group is back in town. Really? Are they performing their famous act? Yeah, and they're also introducing a new show. I can't wait to see what they put on this time. I can't wait to see the show they put on. To present or perform a particular event. The chef decided to put on a live cooking demonstration. The local theater group will put on a production of a famous play next month. The school asked the students to put on a presentation. Number seven, close out. How was the last day of the festival? It was magical. The bands were out of this world. I heard the finale was amazing. Yeah, they closed out the event with a fireworks show. They closed it out with a fireworks show. To finish or conclude. The festival closed out with a spectacular fireworks display. The conference closed out with a motivational speech. The singer closed out the concert with her most popular song. Number eight, walk out. How was the show last night? It started well, but halfway through, people got offended. Really? What happened? They said something really controversial. A lot of people walked out. They walked out after he said something controversial. To leave suddenly, especially when you are not satisfied. Many employees walked out, protesting the new policies. She decided to walk out of the meeting after an argument. They walked out of the theater when the movie got boring. Number nine, put off. Is the carnival happening this weekend? It was supposed to, but due to the rain, they changed plans. So when will it take place? It's been put off to next month.
they put off the carnival to next month to delay or postpone. The match was put off due to bad weather. She put off her homework until the last minute. The meeting was put off until the following week due to scheduling conflicts. Number 10, call off. I'm really looking forward to the beach party. Me too, but I just got a message from the organizers. What did they say? The party's been called off due to the weather warning. They called off the beach party to cancel. The meeting was called off at the last minute. She decided to call off the engagement after a lot of consideration. After a successful negotiation, the strike was called off. Phrasal verbs for weather. Number one, cool down. It's really hot today. Yeah, I'm hoping for a breeze in the evening. Maybe we should have some ice cream to help. That sounds perfect. It'll definitely help us cool down. The ice cream will help us cool down. To decrease in temperature. After the scorching afternoon, the city began to cool down in the evening. It's advisable to cool down after an intense workout. We were all waiting for the weather to cool down. Number two, warm up. Brr, it's freezing. I know, I can't feel my fingers. Let's make some hot chocolate. That's a great way to warm up fast. Hot chocolate is a great way to warm up. To increase in temperature. In the morning, it took a while for the car to warm up. We gathered around the fire to warm up. A bowl of soup is great to warm up in winter. Number three, fog up. I can barely see through my glasses. The humidity here is terrible. They're definitely fogging up because of that. I'm sure it's annoying to have to clean them off every few minutes. My glasses are fogging up. When fog covers a surface, usually glass. My windshield always fogs up in this weather. When you enter a warm room from the cold, your glasses might fog up. The bathroom mirror tends to fog up during hot showers. Number four, roll in. Look at those clouds on the horizon. 
Yeah, it seems like a storm is coming. We should probably head inside. Let's get in before the clouds roll in. Let's go before the clouds roll in. To appear and move forward, usually slowly. The fog started to roll in early in the morning. We could see the storm clouds roll in from afar. When the storm rolls in, you better be prepared. Number five, blow away. The wind is really strong today. I know I can barely stand straight. Hold on to your hat. Yeah, I don't want it to blow away. I don't want my hat to blow away. To be moved or carried away by the wind. The papers on the table will blow away if we don't hold them. The wind was so strong that it could blow away small objects. I had to chase my hat as it started to blow away. Number six, blow over. This storm is pretty intense. Let's stay indoors until it's safe. Do you think it will last long? Hopefully it'll blow over soon. Hopefully the storm will blow over soon. To pass often referring to a storm. We decided to wait inside until the storm blew over. It was just a minor disagreement and it quickly blew over. The clouds looked threatening, but they just blew over. Number seven, let up. It's been raining all day. I just want to go outside. Think it'll stop soon? I hope so. It has to let up eventually. The rain has to let up eventually. To become less intense or stop. We'll go outside once the rain lets up. The snow showed no sign of letting up. The work pressure is finally starting to let up. Number eight, break through. The sky has been so gray. I miss the sunshine. Look, there's a bit of light. Finally, the sun is starting to break through. The sun is starting to break through. To emerge or become visible through an obstruction. After days of rain, the sun finally broke through. The climbers were excited when the peak broke through the clouds. It was a happy moment when the light broke through the darkness. Number nine, clear up. 
The weather has been gloomy all day. I can't stand this weather. The forecast said it would improve. Let's hope it starts to clear up. Let's hope the sky clears up to become clear or brighter. The weather is expected to clear up by the afternoon. I can't go jogging unless the sky clears up. After days of smog, it was a relief when it finally cleared up. Number 10. Freeze up. It's extremely cold today. I know, I can't even move my fingers. Let's turn on the heater. Yeah, before we completely freeze up. Let's turn on the heater before we freeze up, to become frozen or extremely cold. The lake will freeze up if the temperature drops any further. The pipes in our house freeze up every winter. If you don't wear enough layers, you'll freeze up outside. Phrasal verbs for holidays. Number one, hang up. The living room looks a bit plain for the holidays. We should get out some decorations. Great idea. It'll really brighten up the place. I'll get the ladder and we can start hanging them up. We can hang up the lights around the window. To put something in a high position. Every year, we hang up festive lights around the house. She hung up stockings by the fireplace for Christmas. The children love to hang up homemade ornaments on the tree. Number two, light up. Wow, look at the neighborhood. All the houses are so beautiful. They're all decorated with lights. It feels so magical. The holiday lights really light up the whole street. The holiday lights light up the street. To illuminate or make bright with lights. The entire city center lights up during the holiday season. His face lit up when he saw the Christmas tree. The candles light up the room with a warm glow. Number three, set up. What's the plan for Christmas Eve? We need to get the dining room ready for the big dinner. I can arrange the chairs. Perfect. And I'll set up the table. Let's set up the dining room for the holiday feast. To arrange or prepare something for use. They set up a beautiful holiday display in the mall. It took 
hours to set up the Christmas tree. Every year, they set up a nativity scene in their front yard. Number four, pop in. Are you going to visit any family this year? I plan to go to my aunt's house for her annual holiday party. That sounds nice. Are you going to stay for a while? I don't think so. I'll probably just pop in and say hello. I don't like parties. I'll pop in at my cousin's place for a holiday visit. To visit for a short time. Feel free to pop in any time during the holiday evening. He popped in to deliver some holiday cookies. We love when neighbors pop in with holiday greetings. Number five, catch up with. It's been a while since we all got together. We should do it this year. I miss all of you. I agree. There's so much to talk about. I'd love to catch up, but please, let's avoid politics. Catching up with family is a big part of the holidays. To discuss and update each other on life events or news. They caught up with relatives they hadn't seen in years. Over coffee, friends caught up with each other. The holiday break was a chance for siblings to catch up. Number six, come together. The holiday season is about family and friends. It's so important to spend time with them. Right, family always comes first. Coming together always makes the holidays more meaningful. Families come together during the holiday season. To gather in a group for a common purpose. The community comes together for a holiday party. Different generations come together to share holiday traditions. Our family will come together for the New Year celebrations. Number seven, reach out to. I want a new iPhone this Christmas. That's an expensive gift. Do you think you'll get it? Honestly, I'm not sure, but I hope so. Just reach out to Santa and let him know. I'm sure he'll bring it for you. Reach out to Santa and let him know. To make an effort to communicate with someone. She reached out to distant relatives to wish them happy holidays. It's a good time to reach out to old friends and reconnect. If you reach out to old friends, I'm sure they'd be happy. Number eight, join in. Are you going to the office holiday party? I'm really not sure. I'm a bit shy. Come on, 
there are going to be games. All right, I'll join in the fun. It's good to get out of the house. Everyone is invited to join in the holiday activities. To become involved in an activity or event. The children were excited to join in the holiday games. He decided to join in the office games. They joined in the holiday contest. Number 9. Shop Around I still need to buy gifts for the family. Have you thought about what to get? I'm still not sure. I have to shop around and see what I can find. Do it soon. There are some good deals. I need to shop around for the perfect gifts. To compare prices and options in different stores. She shopped around for holiday deals on electronics. To find unique gifts, they shopped around at different markets. Shopping around helped them find affordable holiday decorations. Number 10. Wrap Up I can't believe it's already the holiday season. Did you buy your gifts yet? Yep, I have all of them. Let me know if you need help wrapping them up. Let's wrap up all these presents for our family. To cover something, often gifts. They spent hours wrapping up holiday gifts for their children. Each year, they wrap up surprises for the whole family. Wrapping up gifts is a holiday tradition in their home. Phrasal verbs for achievements and regrets. Number one, tick off. Did you make a New Year's resolution list? Yeah and I've already ticked off several items. That's impressive. What have you completed? I've already started learning a new language and I joined a gym. I've managed to tick several items off of my list. To complete tasks or objectives, she ticked off her goals one by one. After finishing the project, he ticked it off his checklist. It's satisfying to tick off tasks on your to-do list. Number two, pay off. You did a lot of extra work last year. Definitely. I even got the promotion I've been aiming for. Congratulations! That's well deserved. Thanks. It's great to see hard work pay off. It's great to see hard work pay off. To give good results or be successful. Her dedication to training paid off when she won the race. Investing time in learning a new skill 
really paid off at my job. All the hours of practice paid off when he aced the performance. Number three, pull off. Remember that surprise party for Jenna? We put so much effort into that. It was an amazing time. She had no idea we were planning it for weeks. Great job. It's amazing what you can pull off with a little teamwork. It's amazing what you can pull off with a little teamwork to successfully achieve something difficult. No one expected it, but they pulled off a fantastic New Year's event. It was surprising how he pulled off such a complex project. Pulling off a surprise like that requires a lot of planning. Number four, live up to. Are you feeling any pressure for the upcoming year? A bit. I have a lot of expectations for myself. Just remember to set realistic goals. I will. I hope to live up to them and even surpass them. I'm trying to live up to my own expectations. To meet expectations. He really lived up to his reputation as a great host. The sequel didn't live up to the success of the first movie. She strives to live up to her potential in her career. Number five, rack up. You've been really active this year, haven't you? Yeah, it was a really successful year. I'm so happy. Keep racking up achievements in 2024. You can do it. Thanks. I'm going into the new year with a lot of energy. I managed to rack up a lot of achievements. To accumulate or gather. By the end of the year, she racked up numerous awards. He racked up impressive results in his fitness journey. They racked up a lot of experiences traveling around the globe. Number six, get ahead. What's your main goal for next year? I'm focusing on my career. Any specific plans to make that happen? Yeah, I'm learning more skills to get ahead. I'm focusing on getting ahead in my career. To make progress or be successful. To get ahead, he took extra courses in his field. She's always finding ways to get ahead in her industry. Getting ahead often involves stepping out of your comfort zone. Number seven, knock out. That big project was so tough this year. Yeah, but we did it. The most successful project in company history. You're right. We really knocked out all of the competition with that one. It was just incredible. 
Our profits went sky high. We knocked out the competition with our success. To defeat or surpass others. Their new product knocked out all other contenders. He knocked out his yearly targets in just six months. They managed to knock out the biggest challenge first. Number eight, set apart. Your presentation really impressed everyone in the meeting. Thank you. I tried to bring something unique to it. Well, it definitely sets you apart from the others. I believe standing out is key in our line of work. Your approach really sets you apart from the others. To distinguish oneself as better or different from others. Her innovative thinking sets her apart in the industry. His dedication to volunteering sets him apart from his peers. The quality of their work sets them apart from competitors. Number 9. Rise Above Last year was tough with many challenges. But you managed to get all of them done. Incredible job. Thanks. It wasn't easy, but I learned a lot. You know how to rise above any challenge. You managed to rise above all the challenges. To overcome difficulties or negative situations. Despite the difficulties, she rose above and succeeded. It takes strength to rise above such tough circumstances. They rose above the competition with determination. Number 10. Miss out. I really should have gone to that important meeting. It had a lot of important information, and it was really fun. I missed out. I regret not going. Don't worry. We'll cover everything in the next meeting. Just don't miss out on that one. You missed out on the meeting. To fail, to experience, or take advantage of an opportunity. If you don't attend the event, you'll miss out on a great experience. He missed out on the promotion by not applying in time. Don't miss out on these limited time offers. Number 11. Give up. Remember when I stopped studying this year? Yeah, it was a lot for you to handle. It was, but now I need those skills for my job. I'm lost. Well, just remember not to give up next time. Don't give up. Keep going. To stop doing something. To quit. This was the year she gave up smoking. She gave up her job to find peace and relaxation. Never give up on your dreams.
Number 12, look back on. Can you believe how fast last year went? It's crazy. So much has happened. Do you regret anything from this year? Now that I look back on it, I should have worked harder. Looking back, I should have studied more. To think about a time or event in the past. Looking back on her childhood, she smiled. He often looks back on his college days. Looking back on that time, I should have done more. Number 13. Walk away from. I heard you left the soccer team. Yeah, well, you know, my studies are more important right now. Must have been a tough decision. It was, but sometimes you have to walk away from things. I had to walk away from the team. To leave or abandon something. I should have never walked away from that offer. It's important to walk away from toxic situations. He walked away from the deal when it didn't feel right. Number 14. Let down. I'm really sorry I couldn't make it to your party. It's okay. I'm sure you had a good excuse. I was just too busy. I hope I didn't let you down. I was a little disappointed, but I get it. No worries. Sorry I let you down. To disappoint someone by failing expectations. She felt let down when her friend forgot her birthday. The movie let down its fans with a poor sequel. He didn't want to let down his parents by dropping out of college. Number 15. Beat myself up. You seem upset. What's wrong? I didn't get the promotion. I should have worked harder. Don't be too hard on yourself. These things happen. You're right. I'll try not to beat myself up about it. I'm beating myself up over not getting the promotion. To blame or criticize oneself excessively. She was beating herself up for missing the deadline. There's no point in beating yourself up over past mistakes. He beats himself up about every small error at work. Number 16. Dwell on. You've been quiet lately. Is everything okay? I'm just wondering if I could have made better choices last year. Listen, don't dwell on it. The past is the past. It's time to move forward. Thanks for your advice. Don't dwell on past mistakes. To spend too much time thinking about something. 
he tends to dwell on the negative aspects of situations. Don't dwell on the things you can't change. She dwelled on the past instead of looking forward. Number 17. Throw away. I think I'd like to change careers. I want to be an actor. But don't you have a job offer right now? Yeah, it's a financial analyst job. It pays well, but I don't care. Wow, you shouldn't throw away that opportunity. That's a fantastic career. Don't throw away your opportunity. To waste or fail to make use of something valuable. He regretted throwing away his chance at the scholarship. Throwing away her talent, she decided not to pursue an art career. They threw away a lead in the game and ended up losing. Number 18. Pass Up I was offered a job, but I don't know if I want it. It sounds like a great chance to advance your career. I know, but I'm not sure it's the right fit for me. Just make sure you're not passing up a golden opportunity. I'm thinking of passing up a new job offer. To decline or refuse a good opportunity. He passed up the job offer to stay with his current employer. She didn't want to pass up the opportunity to study abroad. Passing up the chance to travel was something he later regretted. Phrasal verbs with get. Number one, get by. The cost of living here is higher than I thought. Well, here in the city, you have to work hard. I know, I just didn't expect it. It's not easy to live here. If you budget correctly, manage your money well, and don't overspend, you can get by. If you budget correctly, you can get by. Manage to survive with limited resources or difficult circumstances. Emily's broken laptop meant she had to get by using her smartphone for work until it was repaired. Despite the financial difficulties, they managed to get by and provide for their family. With careful budgeting, they were able to get by on their modest income. Number two, get through. I can't believe how busy my schedule is this week. Can you handle all of that work? I've done it before. I just think I need a lot of coffee to get it done. Yeah, coffee helps me get through it too. That extra energy is so important. I need coffee to get through work, successfully navigate, or overcome a challenging situation. No matter what obstacles come our way, we will get through them together. Alex is struggling with his studies, but with the help of a tutor, 
he will get through the course. The storm caused power outages, but we managed to get through the night with flashlights and candles. Number three, get over. I don't know how I can move on after the breakup. I thought she was the one. I know that dealing with a broken heart isn't easy. Thanks for your support. I just feel a bit sick right now. You'll get over her in time. Time heals all wounds. You'll get over her in time. Recover from a difficult or emotional experience. It took time, but she eventually got over her fear of public speaking. He went through a tough breakup, but he managed to get over it and move on. Getting over a loss is a process that takes time and self-reflection. Number four, get ahead. I need some advice. I just don't see any opportunities in this company. Listen, if you can work hard and prove yourself to the people in charge, the opportunities will come. I'll take your advice, but I'm still not sure if I can get ahead. There's a lot of competition. You can do it. Believe in yourself and work hard. Work hard and you can get ahead. Make progress in one's career, education, or life. Through hard work and determination, she managed to get ahead in her career. By seizing opportunities and constantly learning, he was able to get ahead of his peers. Getting ahead requires both skill and strategy. Number five, get along. I heard you have a new coworker. Yeah, we connected right away. We have the same sense of humor. I'm glad you two get along with each other. It's so important to build relationships. It is. You should meet him sometime. It's important to build relationships and get along. Have a friendly relationship with someone. Despite their differences, they manage to get along and work effectively as a team. We always get along well when we go on vacation together. It's important to find common ground to get along with your classmates. Number six, get back. I'm so lost. The Maps app took me to a completely different spot. Do you remember where the gas station was? Yeah. Do you think we should return? Yeah. Let's get back to the gas station and go from there. Let's get back to the gas station. Return to a previous state, position, or location. After a long vacation, it's good to get back to our daily routine. She had to get back to work after her maternity leave ended. We couldn't wait to get back to our favorite hobby 
after the pandemic. Number seven, get out of. I was invited to a party, but I'm not really in the mood to go. Just tell them you're not going. You should always do what makes you comfortable. You're right. I'll get out of it and take some time for myself. Relaxing is a great idea. I'll get out of going to the party. Avoid or escape from a difficult, unwanted, or unpleasant situation. He came up with a creative excuse to get out of attending the family gathering. She managed to get out of the commitment by explaining her other obligations. Sometimes it's necessary to get out of situations that don't align with your values. Number eight, get together. Hey, small world, good to see you here. Oh, hi. Yeah, what a coincidence. I'm a little short on time right now, but we should do something soon. Of course, we can get together for a cup of coffee. Let's get together for a cup of coffee. Gather or reunite with others in a social or collaborative setting. They decided to get together for a barbecue to celebrate the end of the summer. Let's get together for a study session and help each other prepare for the exam. Getting together with friends is always a great way to unwind and have fun. Phrasal verbs with look. Number one, look on. I saw a street artist painting a mural yesterday. Really? Were there many people there? Yeah, there were a lot of people looking on. That must have been really cool. There were a lot of people looking on. Watch something as a spectator without participating. The crowd looked on as the parade passed by. The children looked on as the magician performed his tricks. He looked on as his team won the match. Number two, look after. Are you still going on that trip next week? Yeah, but I'm worried about leaving my dog alone at home. Have you thought about who could take care of him? while you're away? I have a few people in mind. I have to arrange for someone to look after him. Someone needs to look after my dog. Take care of someone or something. She looks after her younger siblings when their parents are at work. It's important to look after your health. He's looking after his friend's dog while they're on vacation. Number three, look into. Have you noticed the increase 
in our electricity bill lately? Yeah, it's been on my mind, but I can't figure out the cause. Maybe we should check the energy usage? I already checked it, but I'll look into it again. I checked, but I'll look into it again. Investigate, check, or research something. The police are looking into the incident. We will look into your complaint as soon as possible. She looked into studying abroad for her master's degree. Number four, look forward to. Are you excited about the company retreat next month? I am. We haven't had one in a while, and it's a great chance to bond with the team. That's true. It's been too long since we had an event like this. Absolutely. It's something I really look forward to. I'm looking forward to the company event. Anticipate something with excitement. I'm looking forward to seeing you at the party. She's looking forward to her vacation. We look forward to your response. Number five, look over. Have you finalized the presentation for tomorrow's meeting? Well, it's almost done, but I'm worried I might have missed something. Do you want someone to review it before you submit it? That would be amazing. Could you look it over for me? Could you look over the presentation for me? Examine or review something. He looked over the contract before signing it. Please look over your answers before submitting the test. She looked over her notes before the presentation. Number six, look back. Do you ever think about our high school days? Sometimes. When I remember them, I realize how much we've grown. I agree. Looking back, there were some really fun times. Definitely. Those are some really sweet memories. When I look back, I realize how much we've grown. Reflect on past events or experiences. Looking back, he realized how far he had come. When she looked back on her childhood, she remembered the fun times. Look back on your mistakes as learning opportunities. Number seven, look out. Be careful when you go hiking. Why is that? There can be snakes on the trail. Always look out for them. They're dangerous. Thanks for the heads up. I'll take your advice.
You should look out for snakes. Be careful or vigilant for something or someone. Look out for pickpockets when you're in crowded places. When you're walking on the street, always look out for oncoming traffic. Look out for any changes in your body that may indicate an illness or medical condition. Number eight, look around. You're always browsing Amazon. Have you found what you're looking for yet? Not yet. I can't seem to find what I want. What are you going to do if you can't find it? I'm not sure. I'll just keep looking around. I'll keep looking around Amazon for what I want. Search or browse in a place. They spent the afternoon looking around the museum. She looked around the store for a new dress. When buying a car, it's always a good idea to look around first. Phrasal verbs with up. Number one, clean up. My parents are coming over for dinner tonight. Oh, we have to organize everything. I'm sure they don't want a messy house. We should start by cleaning everything up in the kitchen. Right, let's start there and then we can move on to other rooms. Let's clean everything up in the kitchen to make a place neat or clean, to improve the appearance. I have to clean up my room before I go out. The city has a plan to clean up the polluted river. After the party, we spent an hour cleaning up the mess. Number two, dress up. I've been invited to a fancy party for tonight. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, but I need to dress up. Can you help me pick out what to wear? Of course. Let's see what we can find in your closet. I need to dress up for the party. To wear formal clothes for a special occasion to improve your clothes. She likes to dress up for special occasions. He decided to dress up to make a good impression at the job interview. They dressed up in beautiful clothes for the wedding party. Number three, freshen up. I just got back from the gym. You must be tired. How do you feel? Just a bit tired. I'll be right back. I'm going to freshen up. Take a hot shower, relax, and then we'll talk. I'll take a hot shower to freshen up to refresh a person's appearance, to improve your appearance and recharge. After a long day of work, 
he needed to freshen up. She went to the restroom with her makeup to freshen up. They had just enough time to freshen up before dinner. Number four, cheer up. You look sad. Is everything all right? I'm just feeling a little down today. Let's go for a walk. It might cheer you up. That sounds nice. Let's do it. A walk might cheer you up. To become happier or make someone happier. To improve your mood. I brought you some flowers to cheer you up. His joke cheered up the whole team. Watching a comedy movie is a good way to cheer up. Number five, brighten up. This room looks so dull. You're right. What could we do to fix it? How about some colorful curtains and plants? I think that would definitely brighten the room up. Let's brighten it up with colorful curtains to make something more colorful or cheerful to improve the light or mood. A fresh coat of paint will brighten up the room. Her smile can brighten up the darkest day. The flowers in the garden really brighten up our home. Number six, make up. I had an argument with my best friend yesterday. That's unfortunate. What happened? We were really angry at each other, but we already forgot about it. That's good then. I'm glad you two made up. I'm glad you two made up after the argument, to become friends again after a fight or argument, to improve your relationship. The two friends made up after a big argument. After a brief disagreement, they quickly made up. The couple broke up, but made up quickly after that. Number seven, talk up. Hey, have you seen the new smartphone they just launched? I heard about it, but haven't had a chance to check the details. They're really talking it up. It has a new style camera and crazy battery life. I hope it meets expectations. Sounds impressive. I'll definitely check it out. They're talking up the new features on the phone. To speak positively about something or someone. To improve something's reputation. The author has been talking up her new book on the media tour. He's been talking up his team's project to the executives. She has been talking up the benefits to the new software to potential clients. Number 8. Bulk Up 
I see you've been going to the gym regularly. Yeah, I'm trying to build some muscle. I definitely noticed. You bulked up a lot. What's your diet like? A lot of calories and a lot of protein all the time. I work out and eat protein to bulk up, to gain weight by increasing muscle, to improve your strength. He has been eating a lot of protein to bulk up. The athlete is in the gym every day trying to bulk up. She's been training hard to bulk up for the competition. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, consider joining the channel and becoming an English fan or English explorer. Remember, quiz questions are in the community section. Please like, share, and subscribe, and see you in the next lesson.